done and let's get this thing started let's get the day started there you go bottom percentage rat attack you got it baby you got it so currently we're back day two shiny only pokemon soul silver we currently have two badges and nine inches all right this is our team so far literally just one we will try to get another shiny pokemon today ghost boy thanks for the three months So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. Oh, my goodness. Ah, 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 ah. My nose is itchy. Will you be getting a shiny whooper? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gym leader, when you flying by, I got to get a radio card. All right. So, we got to go get a radio card. Because in this game, apparently, it actually reminds you to get a radio card. Whereas in the originals, it does not. So, we're going to go get a radio card. What's up, everybody? How are you? Did you reset 1,300 times for one Pokemon? 1,352 times. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Level 5 complete. Appreciate the support, everybody. So, 51 subs, 2,600 bits. Thank you. Circuit Breaker, thanks for the sub. There's no sound. You're right, there's no sound. Let me fix that. There you go. I would like to try their quiz. First question. Do you like to take the challenge? Can you take the check the town map with the Poke Gear? Yes. Is this full odds? This is full odds. Why, why would I... I... Why... Why would... What, like... Why would I- why would you increase the odds of a shiny only challenge? I don't- I don't understand the reason. It's like, hey, um... So, I'm gonna be doing, uh, Mario Jumpless today. Except, um, he can jump just not as high. Snail's Tail, thanks for the tier one. It's full odds. Yeah, we can jump nine inches. All right, Nidorina can only be female. That's true, yes. Gabby, tier three, four months. Welcome back. Uh, and Tifanalon, thanks for the two. I appreciate the support. Oh, crap, I wasn't looking. So is it full odds? Yes, it's full odds. Okay, I'd like to try out the quiz. He does not use apricots, use apricorns. Apricots don't exist in this world. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True, yes. Spent all night on the moon. Thanks 100 bits, Melon Bear. Uh, is he on with Marie? No, it's Mary. Yes! Bingo, I got it. Kinda happy. I started streaming. Well, sorry. That's it. Yo, I got the radio card and you didn't. I did it. Time to go back to the gym. Pfft. The gym leader doesn't even know what apricots are. <laughs> Master Mouth makes it tier one. Doo, doo, doo. I think if you use the challenge command, is it still from last week? I think the challenge command still stays from last week, I think. I don't quite know. Yo, Joey, what you got, boy? What you got? Howdy. It's Joey. How are you? Oh, yeah. I took down a Pidgey. Cakewalk. Nice. All right. See you around. Sky Lulu, thanks to the five. Yeah, there you go. Looks like the challenge command still is a thing that works great. All right. We're probably going to fight all of the trainers in this gym to get our Croc and Aw stronger. Can we get a team recap? You'll see it in the first battle. How many shinies you plan on having in the end? As many as, and as many as we can get. That is not within, like, that's within a reasonable amount of time. I think what we'll do is... I feel like we should probably try and go for something like, uh... Like, one of the legendaries is a shiny. I feel like that is kind of, like... That would be interesting. But I'm afraid that it's gonna take, like, 10,000 resets is the problem. You know? Because we're doing full odds. Like, should we try and get a shiny Luigi? I don't know.
Like, we could try and get a shiny Sudowoodo. We could try and get a shiny Luigi. Because they're all static encounters. Moto Cactus, thanks for the two. Alright, legendary shiny locked. Oh, you're a zoomer. Uh, no. That's in the new gens. Old gens, you can get shiny legendaries, which is really cool. But for some reason, Nintendo hates fun. But yeah, I said if we get a random shiny at any point, I'll gift 100 subs. If we ever happen to get just a random shiny by sheer chance, I'll gift 100 subs. Gen 5 plus shiny locked legendaries. That's so sad. That's so sad. Go for shiny Raikou. Yuck. Yuck. Icky. Oh, you're a Zoomer. I mean, Zoomers will play the new games. Exactly. They haven't played the old games. Are you limiting how many shinies you can catch? Uh, yeah, I can, uh, at the very limit, I can only catch a thousand shinies. If I go over a thousand shinies, the challenge is over. I'm not allowed to get any more than a thousand. Yeah, it would be, pr uh, I don't know, it might be tough, but yeah, I think we can do it. I really think we can do it. So if, we, if we're getting close, I need you guys to remind me, hey, remember the rule. You can only use up to 1,000 shinies. How do you get, how? Oh, you get it through the top. <laughs> okay. You want to challenge command of the title? Sure, you can throw it in there. You can throw it in there, I'd be fine with that. Do, 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 do. I'm a zoomer and you only play gen 1 tried moon as well, but it sucked if you went from gen 1 to moon. Yeah, they're completely different experiences I'm only 99 away 999 away. Be careful. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. Yeah, it's tricky. It's spooky do, 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 do. It's Rock and I your only Pokemon currently it is yes Neon Watermelon, thank you for the Prime. I appreciate it. And Random Person 1209, thank you. You can't even have a thousand shinies, only 546. No, I mean, we could catch 500 shinies, release them all, and then catch another 500. That would work, would it not? What's the plan for various HMs? Uh, just do your best, really. Still rocking only Totodile? No, we have got a second shiny Pokemon this run. We, we got a shiny Totodile to start. And the second shiny that we picked up was a shiny Croconaw when it evolved. <laughs> uh, Mr. Malon Cookie, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. Does shiny Gyarados count as a shiny? So if you look close, you can see the answer is within the question. <laughs> You're so sassy today. I'm just making sure we get all the, the answers out. All the, like, the, the simple questions out of the way at the start. This question again. Something else. I think someone else asked me a question that was like... Oh, right. Why don't you title this Shiny Lock? I can explain why I don't title this Shiny Lock. Because if you don't know what a Shiny Lock means, it doesn't mean anything to you. You're like, what's a shiny log? I don't care, whatever. But if you say shiny Pokemon only, that's obvious. You can only use shiny Pokemon, you know? You gotta make it as clear and as accessible as possible. You can't just say shiny lock and then give a ton of rules and stuff. When are you allowed to save whatever the hell I want? I just need to beat the game with only shiny Pokemon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure shiny locks, they use increased odds as well, right? And you have a shiny log means you have to catch a shiny on each route. That just sucks. I'm pretty sure they increase the odds, which is just dumb. I think you'll get a shiny total all after th one, three, five, two. We got good luck. Yeah, like I, th th that's the problem with like you know YouTuber like Poke tubers 
that Poketubers that haven't adapted still do like like here here is their format. Here here's their here's their title format. Old old Poketubers that are that haven't caught up with the times. They say The day of the the day of reckoning. Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke Super Part 34. You know? No one's gonna click on that. Poke Boomers. <laughs> Whereas if you make the title something a little bit more accessible, someone that anybody could click on, they'll click on it. Dang, Poke Boomers. That's how yours were named? I'm sorry, but you, you, you need to catch up. You gotta catch up. Yeah, th yeah, exactly. Little Root, The Day of Reckoning, Pokemon Fire Red, Super Nuzlocke, number 34, Poke Guy Steve. <laughs> I'm not a bit salty today, I'm just explaining. But yeah, like that, that's when YouTube was just recommending Let's Players like that insane amount, just because they're Let's Players. And now that YouTube has become a little more refined, they fixed it. Anyways, let's beat Whitney. Let's just get into Whitney. Leader Whitney! The fairy. Ooh, I'm gonna beat Whitney with nine inches. Let's do this. Um... Ice Fang, we're gonna freeze. Make the leader cry. Oh. <laughs> what did I say? Woo. Freeze, and it gets the freeze. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Oh, hey, just one left, but I ain't losing you here. Oh, we'll see. We'll see about that one. <laughs> oh. Oh, that melt tank kind of has... Ooh. Oh! Crit! Flinch! <laughs> oh, she has a super potion. Watch! It. Oh, it's another crit! Let's go! <laughs> It is the milk drink. Okay. Oh, we're, we've got this. We got this. The milk, milk drink sucks, but I mean, if we just keep flinching, we'll be fine. Stomp. Ugh, you stomped me. Ah, that hurts so bad. Oh, no. Flinch. Milk drink. God damn it. She drinks her own milk? Yeah, the milk tank is just... You know? Oh, this battle will go a while. It'll go a little bit. We'll be fine. At least attract won't be an issue, right? It's just slurp slurp, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ah, it's a crit. What will nine inches do? Do we... Did I buy any potions? Uh, okay. We have one. That's good. Why don't you try and freeze it? be helpful I think yeah stops me ah I feel like it's a higher percentage play to, to flinch but I'll go for the ice fang didn't we say no items in battle did we oh okay all right I'm pretty all right I forgot we said no items in battle my bad whatever we'll just retry then Alright, I reset, sorry. We're not gonna count that. I guess it automatically counts as a reset. I forgot, my bad. My bad. Not a problem, don't worry about it. Round two, same thing. It has thick fat, so Ice Fang- Oh, can... Thick fat, can it not, um... Thick fat, can it not get frozen?
Yeah, it can't be frozen. Right. Is it better to use water gun? My special attack is horrendous. Okay, we, I, once it gets to like here, we need to hope it starts to use rollout. It flinched. That's probably going to be a potion though. No potion? Alright. The AI doesn't use rollout on a water type. Why? Rollout would be the best play. Ugh, gross. Type advantage. What? It has stomp or rollout. They do the same thing. Whatever. That's fine. Whitney also has a lumberry. Ah, let's just get a crit here. Make this fight easy. Ah, drink it that milk. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you can't keep drinking milk. <sighs> Rollout is weak to water types. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ice Fang is weak because it's more power. It has thick fat. That doesn't work. Water Gun would do more on low health. That is true, yeah. Yo, it flinched. Big bugs. It's not very effective. So, the attacking one would be rock, and it looks like it's neutral. Yeah, so you look right here at rock, it's kind of glowing. You guys can't see it very well because you can't see my mouse. But rock is, uh, it looks like rock is neutral against water. Would you believe it? That's amazing. Huh. Whoa, that's so weird. Kids these days don't even know type matchups? SMH, SMH. <sighs> I, I'm continuing to use Ice Fang because it has the chance to freeze, I believe. And we can still flinch with Ice Fang? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, drink your freaking milk. Drink your milk! It's because most rock types are ground. How does... How is that... How is that applicable at all? I don't understand... What? Well, okay, we're just gonna continue to ice thing. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, let's just continue. Let's just continue. We'll just we'll just ice fang away until we freeze. Let's go. Frozen solid. And it flinched. Should Water Gun do a lot right now? 
We froze and flinch. No, it's under one third health. I'm just gonna Ice Fang again. It might KO. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why? Let me free. Let me be free! It just keeps drinking the milk. <sighs> it flinched. Let's go. Stop it. Stop it. That's not fair. This mill tank is going to pee pee stall my nine inches. What the heck? Flinch. Let's go. Flinch. Flinch again. Flinch again. Yes. She used the potion. How is this fair? Uh, it flinched! Yes! Flinch again! Ah! <laughs> I won't have enough attacks! It's a crit! Uh, let's go. Is that okay? Is that under a third? Times three is. We would have 69. Water gun should take it out. Yes! <laughs> we took it out. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's win you down. Ugh. Yup. Wah. Yeah, whatever. You meanie. Sorry. <clears throat> She'll stop shooting. She always cries when she loses. First try. First try. No items. I like that. I do like that. You should go try it since you're good at battling with your Pokemon. How about no? Let's move along, Neezy. Thanks to the sub. First try, obviously. Yeah, level failure. Thanks to the nine months. Wani do. Thanks for the four. Hoofsies, thanks to the prime. Why can I not go up? There we go. Thank you so much for the support, you guys. Bro, Tanko, must. Most might. Thanks to the sub. LaBuzz, the awesome. Thanks to the sub as well. Which one do you like that? Next, oh, I know, I know. Yo, random sub. Thanks to the three. You have a nice face? Thanks. When are you hunting your next mon? It's soon. After the fourth gym, we will hunt our next mon. Are you allowed to grind in this challenge? I don't see why not. Why wouldn't I be allowed to grind? Hey, so thanks for the six. I'm not going to, but why would I need to? Do you know all your type matchups? Pretty much all of them, yep. Hey, got the square bottle, let's go. Are you gonna stop reset Eevee? That could be fun. I think we might. What are you playing this on? This is for Nintendo DS. Actually, if my settings got changed, I need to check something really quick. Give me a moment. There we go, yeah. Now it'll it, 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 it'll look a little bit better now. I just had to change some some of my captured settings. Um I, mean, I guess we may as well fight them. How about this? How about this? How about this? I feel like we should probably 
get something cool for a shiny Pokemon, but I'm, I don't know which one we should get. What other Pokemon should we get for shiny? Should we shiny hunt the Sudowoodo? Should we get a Sudowoodo? Keep in mind, this could take like thousands of attempts. I'll let you guys vote. I'll let you guys vote. Manage poll. Shiny Pseudo Wudo. Yep. Nope. Alright. You guys can vote. We'll see. Peace Blossom, thanks for the three. Love watching the stream, I'm glad you like it. But yeah, the, the, the poll is not in chat. Typing it in chat will do literally nothing. You have to click on the option in the poll. Just so you know. Why not just any shiny Sudowoodo is the one that makes sense to get. I'm a little bit scared of what the results might be. We'll see. We'll see. You guys really seem to like when I was going for the shiny starter. Mono Rock sucks, but it could be fun. Lukey, dark user, thanks to the prime. Vote in the poll. The kid is the man, thanks to the four. Let's see, let's see. 64% said yep. All right. We'll go for it then. Keep in mind, you guys. Keep in mind. I'm very lucky. Wait, what does a shiny Sudowoodo even look like? It's not bad. Alright, it's not bad. It's noticeable. It's like a red and green. All I need is luck. Thought you didn't want to do this challenge? I thought it would be fun to do once. Dot Dill, thanks to the Prime and Ice Viking, thanks to the four. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also the Funky Monkey, thanks to the two. Good. It's a 50-50, either we win or we don't. Let's do it. It's shiny locked or not? No, nothing is shiny locked until Gen 5. Nine inches grew to 27. Gonna evolve soon. What well, Pokemon is Sudowoodo? You're German, it's the tree, the rock tree. I need a special attacker. I have two physical attackers. Okay, well, we'll go get a shiny Eevee or something. It'll be cute. And then you guys will be able to vote on what we evolve it into. Whether it be uh, a Flareon, a Jolteon, a Vaporeon, an Espeon, or an Umbreon. That would be cool. That could be fun. Flareon, lol. I mean, we haven't... You guys can vote once we get there. <laughs> There's no point in voting now, we don't have one. Wait, where do you get an Eevee? Where do you even get an Eevee? Is it soon? From Bill. Oh, you can get it in Goldenrod? Oh. Would you guys rather we get a, a shiny Eevee rather than a shiny Sudowoodo? Alright, I'm seeing an overwhelming yes. Alright, we have to go to Ecruteek first. We're going to Ecruteek though, right? All right, all right, we'll get a shiny Eevee instead. We'll, 
probably get like a, I feel like like an Espeon or a Jolteon or an Umbreon. Could be cool. Could be cool. Find Bill and Ecruteek and then make him go to Goldenrod. Okay. You want to stay the Slowpoke? Could we get your number? No, I only want to talk to Joey. I only want to talk to Joey. I should try grab the bike as well. I probably should. Probably should grab the bike. We have one Pokemon, we're about to get, we, we might even get up to three today for Pokemon. Doesn't Espeon Shiny kind of look like Snot? Or am I misremembering? Open a branch here, why is that? I could, yes. Yeah, all right. I'm down. It's bright green. It looks like toxic waste. Speaking of toxic waste, I'm hungry. I don't know where I put it. All right, I'll, I'll let you guys vote. Oh, a shiny Umbreon is so cool because it has the, the blue instead of the yellow, right? Let's get the bike. Big time. Alright, I'll, I'll let you guys vote. I'll let you guys vote. Go brutal and hunt shiny Raikou? No. Thanks for the dollar, Bruce. If I think we'll have a party of six by the end? Maybe. We'll see. Mads, thanks for the three months. We'll see. Time will tell. Headbutt for Heracross, but Heracross is really rare. Could use the bike. Have your content, you're a YouTube watcher, but you're a great streamer. Thanks for the stopping in then today. Yo, someone already playing ad? Alright. Gonna play an ad? What are we doing now? How do you vote? You can't. There's no poll open right now. I want to eat this toxic waste. It's so warm in this room, I mean, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I might need to change. Like, this sweater is really freaking warm. Mm, that's so sour. Why do I always do this? I swear to God. I eat these off stream, and none of them are sour at all. But any of them that I eat on stream are just torture. You look deeply uncomfortable. It's so sour. Holy bison. Thanks for the prime. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Dan, thanks for the four months. No. Okay. Rhino, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. Yeah, I need to change. I need to change clothes. Um. Give me a sec. I'm gonna go change my shirt. It's too warm. Cause this is like a sweater, and it's yeah. I'm I'm, I'm actually gonna die today if I stay in this. Like, look. I'm toasty. I'm still here though. I'm still here. Don't fret. I am still on the other side of the room. I can still see chat. <sighs> that feels better. Nine inches grew to level 28. All right, I'm back. How many Pokeballs do we have? We should probably get extra Pokeballs just in case we have an accidental shiny that shows up. At some point, we should get some. When does he evolve? Level 32, I believe? 
What was the result of the poll? It was a yes for Sudowoodo, but I asked if you'd rather get a shiny Eevee instead, and everyone said yes, so we're getting a shiny Eevee. No. I'm just gonna check my bag, how many balls we got. I think I bought a few just in case. Yeah, okay, we, uh, we do have a few balls. If I was at level 30 in this game, does it? Hmm. Nine inches and 26 balls. Small gasm. <laughs> you make money when people watch videos after the stream? Yeah, I, I, you watch ads occasionally off when the stream isn't going and I get some money from that, yeah. <clears throat> I'm a big, small ant. I'm a me medium-sized, small ant. Should I fight this Aber Trainer? I think I will. I think I will. Yo, Broba King, next to the prime. Collab with Ant Dude Wen. One day, perhaps. Headbutt trees have different encounter tables. I can hunt hair across. I don't know. Maybe one day, thanks to the ten months. I appreciate the support. And Black Blade Blue, thanks to the three. Keys, thanks to the four. Thanks for getting into Twitch. No problem, my dude. J-Boy 4 Blue. And Sonic 12 Tail. Thanks to the subs as well. I appreciate all the support, you guys. Thank you so much. Be the staff you famous. Actually, speaking of famous, um... Oh, I have a few stories I can tell. I have a few little interesting things. Also, um... Yeah, during this stream, there's a very good chance I reach 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah, yesterday, I, I was... I had a little, uh, fan fanboy moment, I suppose? I don't, I don't know how to phrase it. I'll tell you guys once we're shiny hunting. Did you say yesterday? I said there's a chance we reach it yesterday, but today it's guaranteed. Like, I need, like, 1,800 more people to find my YouTube, and that'll probably happen during the, during the stream. Chris, when you already got a million? Nope. How did you get the shiny starter? This is how I got the shiny starter. That's how I did it. Cody, thanks for the tier one. If you upload a vid right now, you'll get it in three hours. Yes, but I don't have a vid ready right now. You sub today? Let's go. All right. No, I don't. I, I only want Joey. I only have eyes for Joey, okay? Look at this, look at this. Poke gear. I have all of the people that I'm forced to call. The daycare people. And Joey. I only have eyes for Joey. What's up, man? How's it going? It's good. Oh, nice. Later, see you around, Joey. I only have eyes for Joey. Alright. Save. Crocodile Vaz level 30? Okay. Will you do more editing on Discord? Yeah, I will. Occasionally, I'll, I'll screen share just and edit stuff. Because I, I almost finished the get laid percent video. Squirt bottle, yes. Use a squirt bottle. Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh, not a shiny. Shame. Alright. Heck. Not a shiny Sudowoodo. That's okay, that's okay. Use rock throw. Reset. No, we're not getting a shiny Sudo. We're not getting a shiny Sudowoodo. Is it full odds or boosted? Why would it... It's full odds. Yo... Nine inches grew to level 29. That was fun. Thank you for the berry pots. I guess we can grow berries now. Did A Drive's vid help you? What do you mean, A Drive's vid? What do you mean? Oh, you mean as a reaction to my... My one thing? My, my reaction to one of my videos? I mean... Not like a noticeable amount, but it's not zero. 
guess we'll fight both of these lovely ladies. Re you, will you reset for a shiny Dratini from the Dragon Master? I will let you guys vote. You guys have control on whether or not these are specific static Pokemon will be shiny. Will it be a... Will it make it a little bit of a longer um, challenge? Yes, but we'll see. Uh-oh. That did nothing. That did actually not. I was scared for a moment. <laughs> you saw A Drive's video on YouTube? Nice. Nice. When you run in the wild, have increased odds of any shiny Pokemon appearing? Well, that's so fun. That's just like doing a challenge, but like, hey, let's make the challenge easier. Like, the point of this challenge is just, it's patience. You gotta just sit and do it. I'll make a poll when anything relevant comes up. Is there a clip for the shiny? Yeah, the shiny command. Yeah, I think that the the one thing that helped me the most for a reaction video of any of my of any of my videos is um when M and J reacted to it. I got a lot of people coming into the stream saying I came here from M and J. I got so much. What's the YouTube upload schedule? Whenever I get videos done, they get uploaded. That's the schedule. That is it. Then why do you speed up? Because I still want you guys to enjoy this watching the stream. Try and bite this time. I came here from M and J. Don't you have a, a six or three month badge or something? Has it been three months since M and J reacted to it? Ah. Greetings, Poke fans. Having a schedule means many low or mid-quality vids, yeah. There'll be a lot of, like, I want every single one of my videos, I want to be proud of them. I want to be like, this video, I, I know people will like it if it's uploaded. So... Where is Bill vibing? You guys said I need to bring Bill back. Kumquat, thanks to the three. Appreciate it. Oh, is this Bill? Sup, Bill? Who are you? Okay, you're the guy that's gonna give me my shiny Eevee, aren't ya? JC on, thanks to the two. First up is gifted. Let's continue the streak. Thank you so much. Did you watch Game Champs' um, Damageless video? I did watch it, but only after my own Damageless challenge was completed. And my, like, I didn't watch um, Game Champs' video until I completely finished my own, I believe. Because I didn't want to be influenced by any of his editing. I wanted to do my own. Didn't realize everyone was uploading videos of reactions to it. A lot of the Poketubers did. Like, I think there's three or four people that did. Fresh was two months ago? Hmm. Oh, she, them for game shit. Right, sorry. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I didn't watch their video. You didn't know M and J did, A Drive did, Wolfie did, and there's one other person that I cannot remember their name. They started with it maybe like an S. Uh, Patters didn't react to it, I don't think. 
Supra, yeah, Supra is the name. You have any interactions with Wolfie? Uh, other than him asking if he could? No. Making me seeing how varied your content is made me realize how much the other's channels or content is just the same. Yeah. It's like... Something that happened was with the... I feel like a lot of Let's Players specifically like focused on like a, a very specific game. Like, they found one thing that worked and they stuck with it. But after a while... Like, YouTube changed the algorithm and its stuff didn't work anymore, but since they didn't try anything... Patters did react to it while shiny hunting. Ah. Yo, Crunch? Y yeah, that was 80 power? Hell yeah. Sure. I'm down for that. What? Nine inches is evolving! I didn't even realize this was the level. Look at that. Nine inches looks good. Nine inches wants to learn agility. I'm sorry. You don't get to learn it. Look at those yellow eyes. Ooh. Where's the name raider? Just a random question that's completely unrelated to our Pokemon evolving. Where's the name raider again? and goldenrod okay um okay <laughs> let me just find the name reader really quick don't mind me uh it's in the tent in the tent in the tent okay where's the tent where's the tent where's the tent <laughs> top side top side okay Hello, the official name raider. Yes. Okay, what shall the new name be? Um. All right, came from Wolfies. What's up? We pushed it, dude. That. Let's go, baby. 10 inches! Woo! From now on, this Pokemon will be known as 10 inches to go even further beyond. <laughs> Alright, where the heck is Bill's house? Alright. In all caps. <clears throat> we pushed the baby. <clears throat> Next to the game corner. All right. Top left. So now we just need to go for a shiny. Is this is Bill's house. All right. I'm going to save the game. And this might take a little bit. <clears throat> Shouldn't be 11 inches. No, it was nine and a half. We pushed it to 10. I just wasn't sure if it's a cutscene when I entered. Okay. Uh, remember, 1368 is the starting point. We're doing total resets on this recent encounter, not resets for each Pokemon. Let's do it. All right. I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. Yes. Does it show if it's shiny right here? Or no? No, it doesn't? Alright. Oh my lord. It takes so long to check. Alright, not a shiny on the first attempt. Here we go. Let's do it. Alright, I won't nickname it first. Once it's shiny, we will. I have stories to tell. I do. Alright. Let's do it again. Volume off, music and stories. All right, let's get some music going. Let's get some music going. Let's do, um... What do we think? What do we think? What do we think?
All right, let me just change the volume. Okay, so... I guess I could talk. Next one's gonna be Hayes, do you think? Put nine inches in the PC? How do I put, wait. Put nine inches in the PC so Eevee's your only Pokemon. How do you put all of your Pokemon in the PC? That's not how that works. Can you turn game music off? It is off. No, that's Pokedex. All right, let's do it again. Y'all, these are the five bucks vivid. Seen the Poke Link overlay? Shows your Pokemon and their health, to be honest. I'm trying to advertise it. I have not seen that. I don't know what it is. I mean, I think we're pretty good right now. Uh, anyways, yesterday, yes, yeah, so... I've been watching Northern Lion. Uh, he's a he's a Let's Player. You, like a, a veteran YouTuber. He's been doing it. Resave so your Pokemon... It's over the... Wait, resave so what? My cursor's over what? I don't know. Anyways, I've been watching him for years and years and years. Like eight, ten, eight, ten, I don't know. For a very long time, essentially. Like a very, very long time. He has like 800,000 subscribers on YouTube. I think 818,000 if I had to guess. Um, and I, I've listened to his podcast and stuff. He has, a, he has a podcast, uh, Check the Wire. And recently on Check the Wire, he was mentioning that with the recent changes to YouTube, when he exports his Twitch VODs, they, um, they automatically, they, uh, they automatically get a boatload of mid-rolls. And they automatically get a boatload of mid-rolls. And it doesn't let you manage the mid-rolls, no matter what you try, or don't, like, no matter what, it just doesn't let you click on the, the manage mid-roll option. And so he was having a problem with that, and so he was like, I'm probably just gonna have to upload the videos as one really long video that I've locally recorded, and set the mid-rolls myself, because I can't export it from Twitch anymore. And I was like, okay, that's interesting, that's weird that it doesn't let you do that. What's a mid-roll? A mid-roll is like an ad that happens during the video. If you let YouTube auto do it, a, a mid-roll plays every two to three minutes. Mid-rolls are ads in the middle of the video. It plays ads every two or three minutes in a video, which is just absurd if you let YouTube auto do it. And so like, I wound up, um, last night, I saw, he tweeted, he was like, hey, does anyone know a lightweight program that can automatically cut long videos down into short segments based on like, you just give it a time that you want it to cut down into. And so, I keep doing that. So I was like, wait a minute, is he trying to locally record his Twitch VODs, manually split them from, from his computer and then upload them as 15 minute chunks for the Twitch VODs? And so like, if he's trying to do that, that that's, that, that's a lot of work compared to what he usually has to do. And, uh, recently, I've been uploading to my VOD channel, and I had the same problem. Where, you're not able to manage mid-roll ads from a Twitch VOD. But that is because, I realized that there's two options that are off by default when you upload a VOD from Twitch. And you just have to click those two things, and then it lets you manage mid-roll. So I was like, I'm gonna DM him on Twitter. So I DM'd him on Twitter, I was like, hey, if this is the problem that you're going through, I think I have a solution for you. And so I DM'd him the solution, and he was like, Yeah, that worked great. Thank you so much. And I was like, I have been watching this man for eight years, and I've done something to make his life easier. <laughs> it, was, it was like, I was, it's so strange, but it just felt really cool. To, to, to it's so small. But I, it was a, it was a small little fanboy moment. Glad, thank you from NL's chat, excellent. I'm glad I was able to help him out. It was cool. Mm. 
If you're watching his, yeah, like, I've, I watch a lot of Edel's content. I've watched every single episode of Isaac that he's ever uploaded. Like, literally all of it. Like, it's kind of insane. And, um, like, it, it's to the point now where if I ever play a, an Isaac video, I can only play it at night because I'm going to fall asleep just because I've been conditioned to fall asleep to them. Because <laughs> he's uploaded, like, 10,000 episodes of Isaac, and I've watched, like, it's, it's kind of absurd how much he's, like, it's crazy. What's he called? Northern Light. The, the greatest thing about the... That's just so good. He's streaming right now. Ah. Cool. And be simping, though. I'm not simping. I'm just... This is not... This, that's... Simping is when you're like a... Tr like... That's not simping at all. I have no attraction to Northern Lion. I've just been a fan of his content for a really time. It's it's fanboying. It's different. <laughs> okay. Can it be evolved into Umbreon? We'll let chat vote. But yeah, that was that was cool. That was that was a, a cool thing that happened. I think that was last night. I was excited about it. Able to help him out. Actually, I need to check something. I've been I, I've not been looking for the shiny, like the shiny Pokemon. I've been looking for that star, not the shiny itself, because shiny Eevee is only very different. So I'm gonna be looking for the, specifically the star that's on the right side of the screen. Go double T, thanks to the tier one. Appreciate it. It's literally silver. Okay. How long will this take? Is it shiny Eevee white? I, it's not noticeable enough that I, I don't think I would notice. What, what's the new song, by the way? What do you guys want for a new song? Because I think we're ready to pick a new one. It's been 10 minutes. It's very noticeable. All right. So whitish gray. All right. Nimbasa. Nimbasa City. All right, all right. Nimbasa. Nimbasa City team. Did you stop for reset for Super Budo? Yeah, it took four four attempts. Or, sorry, it took one attempt. No, why did I say four? Yeah, it took uh, it took one attempt for the uh, Sudowoodo. I mean, we saw free set for a non-shiny because I wasn't going to catch it, but one one attempt. This is a banger. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The last week, we, we had like a bunch of stories that I had just shared all day. I'm trying to think of other stories. What else? Oh, there's something that's been happening recently that I have not noticed and no one has pointed out. But my roommate made a Twitch account. He's been popping in chat and we've been missing all of his messages. We've literally missed all of his messages in chat. My, like Chris, my roommate. It, apparently his username is like small ant roommate or something or small ant's roommate. And he's been popping in chat from time to time and no one has noticed his messages. I need to VIP him. If anyone ever sees, like, his account... I thought that was fake. No, that's not fake. Like, that's actually his account. You thought it was a fake dude? No, that's actually Chris. So, um... You have so many stands, it's hard to tell who's real and who's not. Yeah. 
But yeah, he's popped into chat because yesterday when I was talking about rock climbing and I said I've done a V7, he was like, you're the BS, you did a V6. And I was like, because that's all he's seen me do is a V6. Because there was there was the one in in the one in the gym that we did that was a six that we both did. But uh, I've done a seven. Is it small ant roommate? I think so. I'd have to ask him again. Is he home? He might be. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll uh, once he if small ant roommate is here in chat right now, type in the first letter of not Steven's, uh, of, of the other roommate's name that's not Steven. Of, you, of your girlfriend's name. If, if they're in chat. If, if they're in chat. I don't know if they're in chat though. I don't know if Chris is in chat. I don't know if they're in chat right now though. Chat's going too fast. Oh, I accidentally reset chat. Oops. Tanner, why? Look what I've done. I didn't think everyone would start spamming letters. Here, what I'll do... What I'll do is we'll talk about something else. Oh, crap. We'll just talk about something else and it'll distract people. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Um... Check what Lloyd said. I can't. I accidentally reset my chat instead of the game. Oh, wait. Oh, you scrolled up. Let's see. User, small ant, roommate. Eight messages. Oh, yeah, okay. That is, that is him. Eat only pierogies, pierogi stream. Did I just hear nipple percent runs? Small ant roommate in the background while making pierogies. Yeah, that's him. VIP small ant roommate. <laughs> Wait, how did he spell it? R O O M M A T E. Is it R O O M M A T E? How is it spelled? Okay. One M. There you go, you're VIP now. He misspelled it? Alright, excellent. Well, now you're VIP, now I'll see your messages a little bit more. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the roommate. Okay, can we change the song? We should. Let's change the song to, um... This is good. can ask for the next song once we get to it but what else what else would we would I talk about let's see if can you guys maybe inspire me for for what what what, what do you guys want to know about me a story what kind of stories would you guys like how cool your mods are well everybody knows that already school more school stories all right more school stories let's see let's see um Dumb school stories. Let me let me think. Okay, okay. I'm I'm trying to I'm searching my brain. I can tell you how I got my best friend in grade six. That could happen. Do you have a strategy charm? No, you no, I do not.
All right, all right. So, grade six, I didn't have any friends. I had just gone to the school for the first time. I didn't have any friends, and I had a, a, a bully. His name was Brandon. And he would, like, just be real mean. Not, no, like, physical, like, no physical bullying, but just, like, being the worst. Lucas, thanks for the prime. Just being the absolute worst. It's always a Brandon SMH. I know. Then one day in winter, it escalated a bit. It got to the point where he was running and chasing me to the like like he was going to physically hit me and i knew this in my brain it was it, i knew it was going to happen and i was running and it got to the point where it was winter there was snow all around and there was a huge snowbank and i was running and if it was a summer i could have just jumped over the little hill and and, uh, and kept running, but there was a snowbank blocking me, and I didn't think about that until I got to the hill, and I was blocked in. And he was right behind me, because he could run faster than me. And he had caught up to the point where he could, like, if he reached out, he could grab me. And so I continued to run full speed straight towards the wall. When I reached the wall, the, the snow wall, I jumped on it with both of my feet, and jumped backwards, and jumped off of the wall, jumped backwards, and jabbed my elbows back, and and hit him directly into the, into his chest, knocking him down onto the ice on the parking lot, completely knocking the wind out of him, to the point where he was like, <gasps> like like it sounded bad, like I thought he, I broke his ribs, kind of thing. Like, it was... Like, it was a little much. But he sat there for, like, two minutes just doing that. And I'm like, are... Are you... Are you okay? And... Eventually, he, like, caught his breath. And he was like, uh, Yeah, I'm fine. I just need a minute. And eventually, I, like... I helped him up off of the ground. And from that point on, we were best friends. <laughs> like we we did every it turns out we had the same interests like we, i was playing through like at that point in time in my free time i was playing through phantom hourglass on my ds i was stuck on a part he helped he, we talked about it he helped me out with that part like it was it was great i reset after i got it but like, do I still talk to him? I haven't recently, no. He, he ended up moving. I keep resetting by accident. Do I have his DM? No, I don't. But I, I remember that was the key moment. I smashed into his chest, knocked the wind out of him, and he couldn't breathe for like two minutes, helped him up off the ground. I don't know how a conversation started, but we started talking to each other. Turns out we're really alike. <laughs> But yeah, for, for me growing up, I, I feel like I've had not great luck with friends up until I was in, like, um... Up until I was in grade 8, I had kind of bad luck with friends, where anytime I would make a friend, they'd be my friend for a year, and then they'd move away. <laughs> like, so he ended up moving, um, I think once I was in grade 7, because that was the end of grade 6-ish, or like halfway through grade 6. Like, in, uh, in grade... Why not do this hunt legit? Is this not legitimate? How is this not legit? I'm doing all of these resets. I'm checking the EV. The odds aren't any higher. I don't see the point. I don't know what that kind of question even means. Like, what else? What else? I feel like... All of the friends that I have made in the past. My man's B, thanks for the prime, by the way. Wilkes, thanks for the sub. Lucas, thanks for the sub as well. 
Like, in, in grade 8, I didn't have any friends for the first, like, month of school. Like, for a full month, I didn't have, um, any friends. I kind of just sat around. Uh, my cousin was in a slightly older grade. I kind of just sat with them in the corner and listened to what they had to say rather than, um, being with them. And, and eventually, there, I got to the point where, it, like, I've told the story before, but... They hung out on, like, the top of a staircase that went to, like, the mezzanine of the school at lunch hour and stuff, and on breaks. Um, whoops. And one day I went there, and they just weren't there. That, that, that group wasn't there. And then the next day they weren't there. The next day they weren't there, they moved on to somewhere else. And so I didn't know where they went. And so I just started, like, instead of going there and hanging out there by myself, what I would do was I'd just, like be bored and I'd like open and close the lock on my locker over and over. That's all I'd do. I'd just stand there and just open and close the lock. Cause I was like, what else is there to do? I don't got anything else. And then eventually, I saw someone else just down the way, you know, a few lockers down one day. They had their locker open and they were just doing this in their locker. They just had their hands just in the locker for like 10 minutes. All right, I was like, what, what, is this, what is this kid doing? What is he doing? And I go and I look over. And he's making an origami ninja star. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, that's actually so cool. Can you teach me how to do that? He was like, yeah, yeah, I can, absolutely. And so he taught me how to do it, and we got talking about, like, just folding paper origami and, like, paper planes. And I don't know where the heck I got it, but I remembered at home, I had a paper plane making book. And I was like, I'll bring it, and we'll make, we'll make paper planes. And we ended up, uh, we ended up making paper planes for, like, that whole week. Just a bunch of different paper planes, different styles, all that jazz. And I don't know why... But the school, for whatever reason, held a paper plane making contest. Like, a week later, and we we're like, oh, we are so ready for this. And so we ended up, like, preparing paper planes together, making real good ones, memorizing the patterns, because they basically, the, the school provided us with paper, and we had to make a paper airplane in front of them. And, uh... And we had a few challenges. There was one where it was like a precision and one that was a distance challenge. And we ended up, uh, oh, I keep doing this. We did like a precision challenge and a distance challenge. And I figured like, we made these fancy paper airplanes and we were in like the, the new people. Cause we were like grade eight to 10 group. And there was a grade 11 to 12 group. And the grade 11s to 12s and went first. And the person in grade 12 that won, what they did for the distance paper plane is they crumpled up the piece of paper into the most dense ball they could and just chucked it as far as they possibly could. <laughs> he called it the paper snitch. <laughs> and after seeing him do that, I was like, huh. Well, that worked really well. And what I did was I made the most, instead of doing the fancy paper airplanes that we pra we practiced for so long, for two weeks beforehand, I just folded the most basic paper airplane where you know you fold it like, you fold it once to make a regular airplane, and then fold it twice to make a slightly narrower airplane. I just did that three times so it was like a dart, and just chucked it, and it tied with the grade 11 or 12. <laughs> All that preparation for nothing. And he did the same thing for precision. With precision, you have to throw the paper airplane go so it goes through a series of hoops. He just chucked it straight, straight through all the hoops, one. So I did the same thing. I ended up missing because my accuracy sucked. But uh, it was just so, it was so funny. The paper snitch. <laughs> the 10 head play, yeah. Was your first Pokemon game red? You beat Whitney? Yes, I did. Why are you farming the Eevee? Because chat voted on it. Years of training wasted. But yeah, after that, like, him and I became best friends for pretty much the entirety of high school. Which high school is grade 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
So it was a long time. Like, um... Like, the, the first kind of phase that we had, I feel like, was... That was when we first discovered Minecraft. It was still in beta. It would, like, it was super basic still. But I remember going to his house once. And... Like, at night, it was, like, 11 p.m. I was having a sleepover. And ended up building an underground tree farm in Minecraft. A whole underground base. And it was... Just so cool. Is this the guy you didn't do the art project with? That was another person. Like, we built an underground tree farm and it was like, oh, that's so crazy. We have... And I, I remember the game kept crashing. And, um... And... Actually, that's something that's really interesting, is... I remember playing that version. And I remember the game crashed. Like, every hour. And we had to restart, like, an hour in. And we had already dug this huge cave underground. And it was like, alright, it's gone. There's no way we can get it. Um, and we gave up and we started a new world. And we explored the new world to find a good place. And we were like, wait a minute. This is... We... Weren't we just here? And we looked around and we found a random dirt stack that went really, really high. And it was a noob stack that we had placed, just a stack of dirt blocks that we had placed in the last world. It turns out, when the new world was generated, for whatever reason, it managed to use the files from the old world, and so all of our stuff wasn't lost. Even though we clicked, new world. And so we, whenever it crashed, we, we ended up making a giant glowstone arrow in the sky that pointed downwards so whenever the game crashed we would just find the giant glowstone arrow in the sky and walk back over to our base and it was just like early minecraft glitches <laughs> <clears throat> so I, I remember doing that and i remember after that day i really wanted to buy minecraft but i didn't have internet like, I, I didn't have internet. I had it, like, only when I went to his house. And so, I remember on graph paper, designing in, in class, designing all of these things that I would build. And, uh, I wound up designing all these things in class. And by the time I actually got Minecraft, I realized, like, designing things on paper. After I designed them on paper, I just... Literally, oh, I reset. I just like memorized what I had wrote down on paper and could just make them. But it was so cool once I finally got it to be able to make all these things that I've been planning for like months. It was so cool. We experienced Groundhog Day in Minecraft. No, it wasn't Groundhog Day because it it was it was one continuous world even though we set a new game. Like there was no way to start an actual new game. If you were in a time loop, what would you do? Everything. Everything that I could. Until I got old. Then get sad. Because I've done everything. Alright, new song. What's a new song? Alright, we'll get this out of the way early. We'll get this out of the way early. Okay, my mom was like, what game were you playing that... Okay, okay. So, speaking of Minecraft, I played a lot of Minecraft. Like, quite a lot. To the point where, you know, it, it was pretty much the only game I played for a while. I was taking a break from Pokemon. And I played a lot of Minecraft. And I was doing... Uh, I was in one of the largest survival servers at the time. Like, one of the largest survivor survival servers in the world. 
And they had something called um, MCMMO. Now, MCMMO is a plugin that makes it so you're, you have stats and you can level them up and have like special abilities and stuff. And because it's the one of the biggest Minecraft servers in the world, they had very, very, very high, um, like incredibly high requirements for levels. Like you had to get to like level 2000 on certain things to unlock certain abilities. It, it would like, it would took, it would take like 200,000 like trees to chop down to get to a, like a, a level where it's helping you out a lot. And I remember that there was a leaderboard for the highest levels in all of the server. Uh, can we, can we yes. Yeah, I remember that there was a, a, a leaderboard. And I remember seeing that on the top of the potions leaderboard, they were level... probably ban that then. I'm not sure if mods can see that. See what? It's just like, it's a different way to, s um, I'll, I'll DM mods one second. Inter that's so interesting. Here, I'll go into mod chat. I don't want to. I don't want to mention it because it'll derail chat. There you go. Okay. Tell us. I can't. I can't tell you guys, or else it would derail chat. I'm back. I'm back. But anyways, what was I talking about? Right. MCMMO. And um. MCMMO, you would be able to upgrade your abilities. And I saw on the leaderboards, the highest level of potion making was around, I think it was 1200. That was the highest level of potion making. Or the, the highest po person with stats overall was, um, the highest po person with stats overall was 1200. And you, you could see their stat breakdown and everything was pretty even. It was all like maybe a hundred in each stat and then maybe like 300 in potion making because they made a lot of potions. And I remember thinking to myself, like, I wonder if I can get to the top of the leaderboards on, on that. I wonder, it probably can't be that hard, right? If, if, you, if you make it super efficient. And I, I remember seeing, um, there was like also an economy system and there was a large market for potions, especially PvP potions, because people were really into PvP. And you guys know when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. And so, I said, you know what, I think I can get to the top. I think I can do that. And I thought about it and I, I was looking at the potion levels and I saw that at the very max level for potions, you're able to make resistance potions, which essentially halves the amount of damage you take and those, you can't make those normally. And at the time, what happened was, I thought about it and to level up alchemy, which is potion making, you have to manually put potions, you need to manually put potion ingredients into a brewing stand and let it brew all the way through. And I thought about it and I was like, what is the fastest way I could make potions? Because I, I realized that every single potion gives you the exact same amount of EXP. It is MCMMO, yes. And the hoppers had just been implemented. Just been implemented. And I thought about it. And I was like, hmm. I wonder if I could automate this at all. So what I ended up doing was I made a system that contained... I think it was double chests stacked on top of each other to the world limit from bedrock to sky and I completely filled up every single one of those chests with water bottles and I had those feed in to 16 brew stands all the way around me 
and what would happen was they would feed in. I would have a third of my inventory be sugar, a third or a third of my inventory be nether wart, a third of it be sugar, and a third of it would be redstone. And I would have a uh, another hop, another series of chests that automatically feed directly beside me, so I can fill it up instantly. And what I would do was I would go in a circle. I'd be like, all right, left click, like left click, control click, left click, control click, and fill it up. So nether wart all the way around 16 times. And by the time I got back to the first one of the 16, it would be done. And so I'd fill it up with sugar and then it would be done. And then I'd fill it up with redstone. I'd press a button. It would dump all of those potions into lava. And I'd do it again. And I would do it again. So I was making like hundreds of potions a minute. Like it was just like and I went from the bottom of the leaderboard to the top of the leaderboard in 16 hours of game time. I got to level 1200 of potion making on the one of like I think it's top 10 largest servers of all time at that moment. And I remember the person that was in first place reported me for hacking. They, and so I remember while while I was like make working on like my, some of my other stuff I had a moderator come over to me and they're like hey Someone reported you for hacking you're leveling up too fast explain yourself or we're gonna have to ban you I was like oh like the potion stuff and they're like yeah yeah the potion stuff It's like oh I'll show you and so I bring them over to this massive machine that goes from bedrock to sky limit filled with hundreds of chests automatic redstone all the way around it and I'm like this is how I did it and they're like what and so I explained it to them it's like so it automatically feeds me into potions so I can manually upgrade and level and they're like yeah that okay that makes a lot of sense and they put this in chat because in the server everyone was starting to question me they're like he's obviously hacking and in the public server chat they, they did like a, they made it so everyone could see this message. They said, hey everyone, Small Ant isn't cheating, he's just a genius. <laughs> and left it at that. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was so funny. Because they reported me because they were just jealous because I was leveling up so fast. <laughs> I did something really similar with, um... Um, I did something really similar with, um, trees. Where I made an automatic tree farm. Where I would, like, instantly be able to grow and plant a tree. And then once it was planted, I could just chop it down and, like, pistons would push it. So I'm just constantly hitting tree blocks. Like, I just plant, like like a thousand trees at once and it would just feed me wood blocks so I could just chop them down. <laughs> so I ended up getting like 12, like I was higher, I was in first place by like literally double the stats of everyone else. It was insane. <laughs> I was ahead of my time, I was, yeah. Is this a hack with higher odds? No, it's the regular odds. Some say he's still on top of the leaderboards. No, but the thing is with that server is one day there was like, I don't even know. It, it was like to the point where there's like thou like over a thousand people on at one time. This granted, this was one of the biggest Minecraft servers at the time. It wasn't like, like Minecraft servers weren't huge, huge yet. It was like just when hoppers were implemented. So it was a while back, but I, it was something like, I had like cartel in the name. I can't remember exactly what it was, Um, but yeah. And, uh, aren't full odds like 1 in 8,000? Yes, it is. Alright, let's change the song. I'll pick it this time. I like this. You need to get on Hermitcraft? I'll just create a Minecraft channel too. 
like I could make a Minecraft channel, yeah. If I had time, I definitely could. I don't have time, though. Yo, DJ, um, thanks for the five months. Appreciate it. Bison Man, thanks for the Prime. Hisamu, Leo, uh, Millie, Flash Killer, Pretty Cool Bananas, Happy Ferret, Wilkes, My Man's B. Thanks for the subs. Appreciate all the support, you guys. Alright, what else, what other stories do I have similar to that? Um, I'm trying to think. What, what, what we got? I mean, that, that server was great. That server was great. Oh, man, what was his name? There was someone that I was like... On that server, whenever there was like a, um, a big, a major update to Minecraft, they'd wipe the world, but you'd keep your inventory and currency. And I remember I had made an absolute huge house. Like, it was a massive tower with a ton of crazy stuff in it. Like, it was, it was absurd. It, it was decked. And, um, it was decked out in that. And I had heard that they were going to reset the server in two weeks. But they usually announce it like a week in advance. I just heard from someone that they happen to be updating the server. And resetting the world in two weeks. So no one had known about it except for like the moderators essentially. <clears throat> and I thought about it and I was like, there's currency and I'm not going to keep this house. So there's no reason to have this house. So I get all of my valuable stuff and I, I put all of it into a... Uh, into my inventory as, as best I can. And what I did was I said... Selling mansion. A hundred thousand. Uh, like, I can't remember the currency. It was for a hundred thousand. <laughs> and within a few hours of, uh, of trying that, someone came to the house. And I literally doubled my money. In an instant. And they kept the house for seven days, and then the world was wiped, and it was deleted. And I just, like, obviously I couldn't have known about it because, you know, they only announced it for, like, a week. I, I, I had insider trading, yes, they didn't know about that. But the thing is, I felt so bad about it that, like, that person was actually really nice. And we ended up becoming pretty good friends. Like, he, he ended up becoming a moderator for the server. And I was his redstone guy. Whenever he needed anything made in redstone, I'd be like, absolutely, without a doubt. I would go to him if he ever had any questions and needed anything made. I never told him once. But out of guilt, I was like, he's like, can you come make this uh, blaze farm for me? I was like, sure, sure thing. Three hours of my time gone. I, I got it. I, <laughs> the guilt is overwhelming. <laughs> so I ended up, I did end up doing that. Uh, I think his name was... Daxter471. That was his name. I called him Dax. Daxter471 on Minecraft. He's not in chat. <laughs> you really need to not dox people to the mob? No one's, like... It's a Minecraft username. Here's the thing. I tried to find this Daxter person and I couldn't find him. I actually tried to find him because we were like pretty good friends. What was my Minecraft username? Small Ant one Every time I do a bad thing to someone, like, I mean, the bad thing with, to the other person was they were, like, bullying me and I just was fighting back. Maybe. Maybe. It was great. Simply Invincible, thank you for getting a sub to Daxter underscore 471. Whatever happened to the one? I don't know. It was only in Minecraft. 
Did you ever grief? Okay, there was one thing that... <laughs> I, I did once. I did once. Me and my friend went on to like a One of those anarchy servers that it was pretty much just vanilla Minecraft. It had a few minor things uh, can I, I need to play on it. And yes, okay. There there was one thing where It wasn't too beat. No, it was just like there weren't any rules There was one thing that you could do is you could set your home to teleport home and you could teleport to other players and what we ended up doing was me and a friend was I we, we made a thing where there was a piston door that essentially it opened up and it fell down like from from the sky limit to bedrock so there's no way you survive it it's just a hole straight down and there weren't like uh, elytras yet this was a while back and so what we would do is my friend would stand on top of the piston door I would stand in a control room and my friend would be like trading like a diamond pickaxe for some just some diamonds or something like that like a really good diamond enchanted pickaxe for some diamonds we didn't have anything he, we had literally nothing on him and so people would warp to him i'd press the button they would both die and we'd pick up the loot <laughs> but you were allowed to it wasn't against the rules <laughs> Um, can I count you playing it? Yes. So, uh, a little bit of a scam, but we only did that once because it got really boring. Because, like, it's, it was just too easy. But it was teamwork. It was teamwork. Is this how Smant Corp was funded? Yes. That's not grief. I mean, it's against the rules, or it's not against the rules. <laughs> sounds like, yeah, factions or something sounds right. Sounds like TP trapping, something like that. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me, I, I have so many Minecraft stories. Here, here's another one. Here's a random Minecraft story as well. Actually, we should probably change the music here soon as well. Uh, but there, there is another Minecraft story that I can think of. Um, where I held, I had a, um, I had a nice little shop. It was a, a potion shop because I could make potions very, very, very fast. As you guys know. Uh, what's up, Clam? <laughs> and so I had a potion shop, and the great thing about that server was there was, uh, block protections, where specific blocks, if you place them down and press, like, the give like, use the protection key or whatever, you- people couldn't destroy those blocks, so, like, furnaces, chests, doors, and signs. You could protect them, so another person couldn't destroy those at all. And, um... So what I had done for my potion shop was I had made like a nice in in room of a potion shop and surrounded it with furnaces so no one could escape if they warped me. So they had to warp to me so they could get the stuff and then they have to warp out. And so they couldn't get to my real base, they didn't know where I lived. It was just for anonymity. It worked well. Um, but there was one person that for whatever reason just kept spamming. To, to teleport to me. He just kept spamming me and I was like, stop it, dude. Just, you gotta stop. Like, please, stop trying to teleport to me. And he just wouldn't. He would not cut it out. And it was getting really annoying. And so I devised a plan. And what I did was I locked myself in what appeared to be a one by one by two obsidian cube. And so I locked myself into this obsidian cube. It was like there was, it was surrounded by two layers of plain obsidian. And this person warped to me again, or he wanted to warp to me. And so I let him. I let him warp to me. I was in this cube and then I warped home. So we, and I walked over to the cube because it was near my house. And he's stuck in this cube and I realized that he doesn't have a diamond pickaxe and he doesn't have a home set. So the only way he can leave is to teleport to someone else. But no one wants to teleport to him because he keeps spamming it. And so he's stuck in this obsidian cube and he and he doesn't have a diamond pickaxe. So he literally has to manually punch his way out of two layers 
of obsidian. And so he's punching himself out for minutes. Like, it takes minutes. And yeah, I think he could have slash spawn, but I didn't tell him that. He didn't know about that. And so he just, he dug his way out. And I could hear the blocks break after, like, it's like 15 minutes? Yeah. I just sat there and listened to him punching away. Because I wanted to see his reaction. Because once he got through the two layers of obsidian, there were furnaces surrounding that that were impossible to break. <laughs> and so there actually was no escape at all. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and so he ended up filing like a mod report like, because he couldn't escape, he didn't know how, and the mods came here. And I was like, he wouldn't stop warping to me. And they're like, yeah, all right. And they told him, like, stop warping. You can just leave by pressing slash spawn. And he's like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> and he left. And I never talked to him again. He stopped warping to me. It worked great. Alright. The stream to show me what kind of ant you really are. In Minecraft, if someone was messing with me, I wouldn't stand for that. Like, I was a, I was a good friend. If Like, if anyone ever asked for help with redstone, I would be there. I would sit there for hours and help out. Like, I was the guy that if anyone needed a hand, they'd be like, Hey, small ant, could you help me with some redstone stuff? I would be there. I would help them out. For reference, shiny Eevee just looks like an Eevee covered in flour. Here you go. How many other than that guy out of guilt? I mean, like, I played Minecraft for like six hours a day. Probably two, one to two hours every day was me just hanging out with other people, helping them out with their projects. Why are you getting Eevee? Because it's cool. <laughs> if you made a Minecraft channel, what version would you play? The most recent version. All right. I'm trying to think of any other interesting stories. Got any romantic stories? No, not really. Not really. Vacation stories? Let me think. I had one. So the the friend that I was talking about, that I the paper pa paper plane friend from uh, from high school. Here, I'm gonna change the music. Let's do this one. All right. What was I gonna talk about? Paper airplane friend, what about it? Oh, right, so me and the paper airplane friend, we ended up going to Dominican Republic together. Like I was going with my family and I was like, hey, you wanna come along? And he was like, absolutely. And so he went with me. And so we ended up, um, one night, we ended up going to, uh, just walking around. We were at, like, a resort, like an all-inclusive kind of resort with a bunch of restaurants in it. And we ended up going to a random restaurant one night, and we were kind of waiting to get in. And, um, there was a couple that was, uh, it, was, it seemed like they were from France, and they were speaking French. 
And my friend, he's awesome. And he knew a little bit of French. What he knew what to say in French, the, the words that he knew how to say in French was, hi, I don't know how to speak French. I only know how to say that sentence in this one in perfect French. He learned exactly that, how to say that in flawless French. And so they spoke, we walked up and they started speaking to us. Just, I don't know why they assumed we were French. I guess we had, we had Canadian like badges on or they're like things on. And so they assumed we were like Canadian. Cause like, apparently it's like a French Canadian spot. And so he said that and they laughed and continued to speak French to him. Because they, it was in literally, it was flawless French. They here learned how to say this. Like, I don't know what he said, but it's flawless. And so he's like, no, I like, I, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> and they're like, wait, really? And like a, a French Canadian accent, like, really? You don't know? You don't know what we were saying? No, I don't know how to speak French. Like literally, that's all I know. And they're like, that's amazing. Like I was, we were convinced you spoke French. <laughs> so that, that was a good little interaction. That same night, actually, we went around and, um, we went around and found some people that were a little bit older than us because we were like 18 or 19 at the time. And there was people that are probably like in their like mid 20s, like 25-ish. And um, we like introduced ourselves and uh, my friend, his name was uh, Akash. And my name is obviously Tanner. We introduced ourselves and they were like, my, my friend is like a I don't know how to describe him. He's just a, a slightly shorter than me white dude. And the, the people that we met is like, well, your name doesn't fit at all. Akash's name, you don't fit at all. And my name is like, but you fit. You have the whitest name I've ever seen. <laughs> I remember that, meeting those strangers. They were fun, actually. We ended up going to like a random place and just hanging out with them for the evening. Not like John? No, Tanner is. I guess. Racist? I don't know. They, they, were, they weren't racist. They were just very edgy, I guess. Like, but not in a racist way. Are you still gifting? Oh yeah, I forgot. We're gifting a sub every hundred resets. We'll gift the subs once we get the shinies. They were actually really cool people. Tanner is a sick name. I've only met two, uh, two with the same name as me. My neighbor, who had the same name and last name as me, almost, and um, a dog. Those are the only Tanners that I've ever met. <laughs> it was a good boy though. It was a good boy. You, it, it was it was the best boy. Ray, and thanks for the five. Never met anyone with the same name as you? Well, it's impossible. No one can have the same username. That's not how it works. Tanner belongs in the same category as Cooper? Yeah. How's the shiny RNG in this game? Can you manipulate it? I don't know. I'm just soft resetting until we get a shiny Eevee. That's the plan. Will this be a vid? I have no idea how I would make this a video. How would I possibly make this a video? Can you play a different song? Uh, this one's only been playing for five minutes, but sure. Let's see. Yo, this one bangs. You have a camping story. I'm 
sure I do, but I just... I can't remember. Okay. What is this one? This is Game Corner from Heart Gold Soul Silver. What is the worst winter you've experienced? Last winter, it was a particularly cold one where it went down. I think there was one day where it was like minus 50 with wind chill. Celsius. Like, it was miserable. You just don't go outside. Like, the car, like, you just don't leave. That was with wind chill, though. Like, that, that was, yeah. But that was like a one day. I, I have one, you guys, I, I told you, I think it was yesterday about the windstorm that happened. There was like a windstorm that knocked down, I was like, my hometown is in the middle of a forest, right? There's just trees. There's just trees everywhere surrounding the town. And um, the wind was so strong that it knocked down like half of it. Half of the forest was just knocked down. Still at Eevee? You realize it's a 1 in 8,000 chance, Alexi, and we've reset less than 200 times. Like, it wasn't a tornado, it was a windstorm. But yeah, half. And I remember it was... it was almost winter, so there was like a little bit of snow on the ground, but it wasn't like super cold yet. But I remember the power going out at school about 30 minutes in, because it was going to go out. Um, but yeah. It ended up being, uh, very strong winds, the power went out, and, um... My mom lived close enough to the school that, like, I went to ask her, it's like, Hey, should I take the bus home? Or, um, or should I just hang out with you until you're done work? And ended up, um, to walk over there, I had to walk through the wind. And I remember going... Uh, jumping over a little barricade, that, like in parking lots, like the little, like, like maybe this, this high, just little concrete, little barricades, so cars don't like smash into stuff. And I remember going across the street to jump over one of those, and I remember doing a little hop, and a gust of wind from the windstorm hit at that same moment, and I jumped like an extra three or four feet. It was like a little hop, and I was like, and then landed. It was like. It was sick, honestly. It, like, I, it felt like I was flying. It was like a double jump, yeah. I remember that. I was, I was wearing a t-shirt because I was dumb. And you know when, you know when in school there's some of those kids that are like, I don't need a jacket. I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt because I'm so tough. That was kind of me for, like, a few months. <laughs> and during that time I was in, I almost got, like, frostbite in, like, the the 30 seconds that I was outside. Because it was just brief. Ah, I keep pressing A. That's me. But I always wear shorts. I mean, they're comfy and easy to wear. Of course you were. Whatever. Alright, you have any Pokemon shirts? I have a few. What's the chance? 1 in 8,000. 23 Mythbuster, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Dylan Donut, CC Hunter, thanks for the subs. Isabel K, thank you for the two months. Uh, Danny Aria, Picator, Cosmic Core, and Eris. 18 months, how did I miss your 18 months, and Eris? Thank you. And thanks for all the subs. I really appreciate that. Flying leader. Thanks for the bits. Why do you need an Eevee? We don't. Chat wanted one. So we're doing it. And I'm lucky, so it should happen quick. No, 50... Minus 50 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. I, I live in Canada. C 
CJ Waffy, thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Who's on the team currently? Literally just for Alligator. The name is not gonna be A. We're gonna use, do the name raider once we get one. Are you only doing shinies? So if you read the title of the stream. <laughs> Patricia, thanks for the tier one. Will you aim for shiny whooper? Maybe like Masada? I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. <clears throat> Levels for alligator 30. It just evolved. Let's see what else what else could I talk about? What else could I share with you guys? Ever been to France? I've never been to Europe. Are those resets easier in total? They're in total. We reset 1,300 times for the starter. Do the resets manually? Whenever I press the reset button for the, the DS, it also increments the reset counter. Awkward high school stories. High school. No. I think I had many. I'm a dropout from university. Technically, I would say, yeah. Floppy fail, thanks to the seven. Souls over his best game is great. It's real good. I'm trying to think of a high school story. I'm, I'm trying. I'm. I'm searching my brain. Oh, I have one. I have one. Kyojin, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate it. Oh, I thought of one. Okay, so you know smartwatches. You know how they have like a screen and stuff, a touch screen, and they're real fancy. I remember. Before those were their thing, I I was looking at it and I was like, I saw the iPod Nano, the little tiny little square one. I think it was the tiny little square iPod Nano. And I was like, that seems like it would be the perfect watch. And I looked for it and there's actually really nice watch bands for an iPod Nano, like a nice metal watch band that looks nice. And I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get one. So I ended up getting one and I had a smart watch. Count. Yes. You had one? Nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, it was like it was like a nice metal wrist strap. Like it was nice. But anyways, I remember having that. And I had all my music on it. It was super cool. And um I wound up. I, I, I've only, I, I, it was very nice, but I only ever used it for a, a negative purpose once. A negative thing once. Because I took a lot of different classes in high school. A lot of classes that I didn't really care about. Um, because the re what my idea was in high school is like, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up. So I'm just going to take everything. So I took law, I took chemistry, I took biology, I took metalworking, I took mechanics, I took, like, literally everything. And so I was in law. And I didn't care. So, I'm in the class, I gotta finish it, and it comes to the end of the year, and I realize that I don't... I don't remember anything at all, because I never cared. I didn't pay attention at all, never put, put any effort into remembering any of it. Uh... 
And it comes to the end of the year, and there's like the final two days away. And I'm thinking about it, it's like, I don't know anything that's on the final at all. And so what I did was I ended up getting a, a like, they give you a, a thing of what you should know at the end of the year, of everything that you should know. So what I did was I went, uh, read up on everything that I should know, wrote it down onto a single, or on two sheets of paper. And then wrote it down onto one sheet of paper. And then wrote it down onto a half a sheet of paper, just continually condensing it. So it turned out to be like F R P L dash like and then something else. Just like random garbage letters that didn't make any sense. But I understood them because I had condensed it down so much. And I condensed it down to the point where I could fit all of the information for the entire year on a 256 by 256 pixel image that I could put on my iPod Nano. Um, and so I did that. I, I cut it all the way down, put it onto my iPod Nano for the entire information for the year, and I go into the test confident as ever. And then I start taking the test, and I'm like, I'll just look at it if I ever, uh, if I ever don't know any answers to the questions, and it'll, it'll be great. And so I start the test and I'm like, yep, I know that. Yep, I know that. Yep, I know that. And I realized going through the test that what I did was I just studied. And I didn't need the picture on my watch. Because <laughs> literally, what was on my watch was literal nonsense. To remember what the nonsense was, I had to remember all of the information anyways. <laughs> So I didn't ever need it. Why did you cheat? I didn't cheat. I didn't end up cheating. I had the option to, but I never did it. I never cheated. Whoops. Studying, but with a, with a bit of a rush too. And that's actually what we did, um... That's actually what I did in university. There was one class, it was like chemistry of everyday life. We did, like me and a friend li just did it. Literally, me and a friend did it exclusively to fill out like requirements or whatever they're called, like academic requirements. It was just like a uh, one that you had to, had to take on the side just to fill out something. Um, yeah, next song, next song, that's true. Yeah, it was an elective, but you had to take a certain one. And that was, like, the easiest one. Alright. We're gonna do this. <sighs> what language do you learn in school? English. Only shotties is worse than no damage. Uh, kind of. It's more grindy for sure. Sad story incoming, maybe. Morning, little. But okay, in university, me and a friend, it was it was like chemistry of everyday life. It was just such a dumb class. Like we didn't care about it at all. I was at the time learning like Japanese. So I would just, through the class, I would just go through, like, like, vocabulary stuff. Because that was the time, that was some of the time when I was actually, like, getting to be conversational in it. And my friend would play, like, 8-ball pool on his phone. The whole class. That's all we would do. And by the end of the year, we realized we knew literally nothing about anything that went on in the class. And, um... We ended up doing... Uh, on the final exam... He gave us all, again, all of the information we should know. And so what we did was we went through the entire textbook in an afternoon. We started in the morning. We went through the entire textbook. All the way through. And we wrote down any key information we felt was important relating to those topics. We wrote it on as many pages as we needed. 
Like, I, I think I took like eight and he took like 11 pages. We condensed it down onto two sheets, a du one double-sided sheet. And we compared sheets to see who, if anyone was missing it on either side, so we wrote it down. We condensed it down to one sheet, condensed it down to half a sheet, and then we, we had memorized the entire course load in two days. And there was also like seven potential essay topics that we were going to have to write for the test as well. We were like, all right, if there's seven potential essay topics and he's going to make us write at least two, or I think it was, you have to write at least three topics. We're like, okay. And we'll have an option of seven of them. I, I can't remember. It was like, we had seven topics we, we had potentially, we could have done, but we figured out that we only needed to learn three of them. And so I, we learned three, a, a, an insane amount on three topics. And I think we both got like 95 on the final exam or something like that. Because we just literally sat down and just the pressure of having an entire course final exam in two days helped us to just focus. And we learned the entirety of the course in two days. <laughs> but we, we'd like min-max the hell out of that exam. Uh, I keep nicknaming it by accident. Like, for me, I can't focus at all. Ever. I can never focus unless there's some pressure. Like, it, I cannot focus on anything unless there's some pressure. Like, the reason why I'm starting to do screen share things on the Discord where I screen share while I'm editing is because if I'm not screen sharing editing, I can't focus. But knowing that there's people watching it, even if it's just like two or three people watching it, I'm like, there's people watching, I should keep editing. And so I've been so productive recently with editing because there's three people watching and I know there's people watching and they're just not gonna watch for nothing. You have ADHD, I can't focus, period. Same, like I, I, uh, once I dropped out of university, I went and, and like I, like a doctor told me that I have that. <laughs> and I, I actually, for like a year and a half, I took it, but then I found that, uh, Streams were worse when I was on it, so I stopped taking it. Uh, yes. And plus, if, if there's something that I don't have to take, I'm, I'm, I'm of the mind that like, even with like painkillers and really anything of any medicine, of any kind, I'm like, if I don't need it to be all right, then like, I'm fine. So I, if I didn't need it, I didn't take it. It kind of messed with my emotional state. No, it really didn't. Like when I was taking ADHD, I was actually able to sit down and focus and I felt, I felt exactly the same, except if I wanted to think about something, I could. Now, it, like, I still struggle with it, but I've kind of figured out workarounds, which is good. Or you don't have to. You took it for, yeah, for like a year and a half, Felix. Yeah, I think it was ri ri Ritalin, I think, was what it was called. ADHD or ADD? ADD isn't a thing they reclassified it to different types of ADHD. They reclassified it in like the 80s. People that still say ADD are behind on the the current um, names for things. Yeah, it's Ritalin. Yeah. Ever study for JLPT? No. I mean, I could study for JLPT, but I, while I was learning it, I just wanted to learn it to be able to speak it. I didn't want to have to like prove it to anyone that I could. You know, or me, me, I just wanted to be able to talk. But like, it was to the point where me and like, I, I paid for like a private tutor, like every day for like an hour at the time when I was learning Japanese. It was to the point where we could have a whole session almost exclusively in Japanese. Like I remember uh, her telling me a story about how one of her friends went on a, went on a date and her friend had dressed up all fancy, a pretty dress and the date that they went on, the guy brought her up to a volcano. And it, they had two different, completely different ideas about, um... 
about what the date was supposed to be. And it, and she was like, yeah, the date was terrible, apparently, but they're still together to this day. It's been five years. Like, I remember having that conversation in Japanese. Sacrifice. <laughs> like, I remember at the end of that conversation, I was like, holy crap. Like, I just had a conversation. And I understood what they were saying. Low-key, a sick date, Loki. Yeah, a freaking volcano? How many kanji do you know? I've... From, like, the, the... I think you're required to learn, like, 2,000 in school. I was around, like, the 1,600 mark, I think, in my... In, like, like the flashcards that I was going through. That I could recognize. Aravo, thanks to the four. You still remember it? If I had to relearn it, I'd probably remember it pretty quick. But yeah, that was like in a really intense two months. Like, I, I was doing that for... It wasn't very long, but I went like all in. Because I was like, I'm speedrunning this. And I hadn't done any speedrunning before. How good is my luck? Incredible. Because yeah, I did, I did that for a while, but it was like... Rock climbing, piano, I... It was a very chill, like, year that I had, where I was just doing whatever I wanted. I'm resetting very fast, I won't reset. Don't worry. Tell us your first kiss story. I've never been able to figure out how to make this be an entertaining story. There's definitely some humor that can be, like, taken from it, but I can't remember. Like, I, I remember how it went. But it was just like... It was a little awkward. Well, let's pick a random, uh, random song here. It's a good song. It's not NSFW, no. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, this song bangs. Let's do this one. This is Glitch City, by the way. Glitch X City. Pick a Cumulative Town. We already did a Cumulative Town. This goes hard, dude. All right. How many times have we reset? 200. Nice. Alright. I'm trying to think. I think my first, like, I, I don't count it as a first kiss. But I remember it being at someone's house. It was like a friend's house. And there were, like, two girls over. And one of the girls he liked. And what the other one he didn't like. But I remember... We ended up playing Truth or Dare. And she was dared to kiss me, and I was, like, not into her at all. And so I was just like... And she was like, you're a terrible kisser. I was like, yeah, I don't want to kiss you. I never told her that. But she was like, man, he's a terrible kisser. He, that was just the worst. And I was like, yeah, I tried to make it the worst, so you never did it again. Uh, <laughs> 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 but I feel like the first one that, like... The one that I would consider like a first kiss was um nickname. I what did I press yes, my brain. Chad? Didn't want that. People trying to get kisses while boys being forced to kiss. Whatever. I'm trying to think. Alright, so there is one girl, I was in like, I don't know, I think grade 11, she was in grade 12, and I hadn't seen The Breakfast Club, and she was like, you gotta see The Breakfast Club. I was like, I've never seen it. And she was like, you should come over and watch it, and I'm like, okay, okay, I could come over and watch it, that sounds good to me. She was like, yeah, I'm house-sitting right now, and no one is home. 
so you could just come over and watch the breakfast club with me so i was like okay great i was like oh hell yeah i get to watch the breakfast club yeah <laughs> that's all i'm thinking about i get to watch the breakfast club In an empty house with one person that invited me over. Nickname, no. And so I go over, we start watching the breakfast club and she gets a little closer. I end up like like putting my arm around her because that's just the only that's the thing to do, I would I felt like. And eventually it got to the point where I was like, alright. We, at, at, what happened? It was so stupid. Um, can you play it? Yes, it was so dumb. Like, at the very end, the very finale of the movie, there was maybe like three minutes left, and it was on VHS, and it just broke. And it just broke. And it, we ended up like turning to look towards each other, and ended up kissing. And. She was very forward, and I ended up like after like a few seconds, I ended up pulling away, and I was like, "That was my that was my first kiss." I told her that that's my first kiss, and she's like, "Huh, okay," and then kind of moved back from the couch, and uh, it was a little bit awkward for some reason, and I had no idea why. I was like, "I am I that bad at like kissing or something, or like what's up?" And, um, do you even fix the VHS? No, I still don't know how the Breakfast Club ends, by the way. And we ended up, like, they have a day at a dog at the house, so we ended up going walk for the dog. Um, and looking back at it, um, she definitely had a lot more experience when it came to, um, more than just kissing. And... I apparently, looking back, I definitely cockblocked myself because she didn't just want to kiss. No one was home. She was like pretty forward. And I was like, it's my first time kissing. And she's like, oh God, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> so we just walked a dog instead. Um... Yeah, that was my first kiss. Big Ace Moon, I'm not I'm not asexual. Walking dog seems better. Honestly, with that it was a good it was a good boy. They had like a really cool like tennis ball chucking thing. It was sick. The stream is getting good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is walking a dog a metaphor? No, we walked the, the dog. Cause I showed her my sick yo-yo tricks. You know, the walking the dog. It's cool. I'm just kidding. I don't know how to yo-yo. All right, what else? PewDiePie fan? I don't really watch many PewDiePie videos. My mom suggested Halloween costumes earlier. All right, I can go through Halloween costumes. That's true. That's true. All right. Um, is this it? Check notifications. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the five bucks average. Uh, and Gino, thanks for the two dollars. I give you one dollars to give me a Lego Millennium Falcon set, okay? No. Wrong person. I was looking for the fastest pencil sharpener. Is he here? Yes, he is. It's me. Hello. Thanks for the two bucks. Opal Fire, thanks for the six. Were you talking about Daxter471 on Minecraft? Yes, I was, Humanity's Grace. I was. Uh, Vira, thanks for the hundred bits. Aravos, thanks for the four. Beastly, thanks for the sub. And simply, thanks to the 133. I'm going to use this to study in the future. Sounds good. 
Uh, Neelix, no Jake, thanks for the sub. Din Din, thanks for the prime. What else? That's him? Wait, what? Humanity's Grace is Dexter471. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Did we find them? I swear that's me. All right. Humanity's grace. What was the Minecraft server name that you played on quite a lot about maybe 10, eight years ago? Do you remember? It had cartel in the name. What was the other word? There's no way. He's trolling? If he answers, we'll see. Definitely Googling furiously. It doesn't exist anymore. It went down. LMAO is googly. He can't. It wasn't cookie. Before that. Before that. It d the server doesn't exist anymore. It went down. He's taking a suspicious amount of time. It's hard to tell. It's hard to say. It changed names. What was the original name? What was the original name, Humanity's Grace? Wasn't Cookie? There were, it, the, the second, the, the backup server was Cookie Cartel. But what was the second one, Humanity's Grace? You gotta, you gotta remember. You put so many hours onto that. It was Dactor 471. Oh, I, I mean, it could be. It was eight years ago. Let me search my Skype logs. <laughs> oh my God. I sold you a house in Minecraft eight years ago. Oh my Lord. That's actually insane. Someone that I sold a house to in Minecraft eight years ago that was a moderator for that just happened to, oh my god that's just absurd how did you find him is dax here that is absurd you check the history of an account huh small world so I remember just being like, hey Dax, what's up? Small world. Seven, why did you? <laughs> I might have to re-VIP Maisie, I think, I'm not sure. Maisie, could you talk? Okay, no, never mind, you're good. <laughs> okay. Oh. It just okay. There you go. I I'm amazed I found Dax four seven Dax or four seven one. Should we name the Eevee that she's DMing us copy pastas? Ah, uh, okay. We 
Was it really? I think it is really him, yeah. Name the EV Dax. That'd be cool. What are you all evolving the EV into? I don't know. We'll, we'll decide. Like Pi, thanks for the five months. Appreciate the support. Kale, we thanks for the prime. Get into a Discord call? I never heard his voice, so I don't know what it sounds like. I don't even know if it's a girl, actually. Could be a girl for all I know. Like, I, I never spoke to them in person. Like, it was just through Minecraft. Like, I remember making a, a, a Blaze Farm forum. Same speech pattern? It was eight years ago. I don't know. Girls aren't real? Okay, sorry. I couldn't have been a girl. They wrote something? No, they haven't wrote anything. The last thing they said is, wasn't cookie. Which was... The name of the backup server. There was two servers. I, I, I've remembered the name of the original server, but I'm not gonna say it, because this is how we're gonna check. Oh wait, no, never mind, you gave bits. Do it, I'll sub if you do, and someone found me on Instagram, TBH. I didn't know people talked about me. It just came up, I was t talking about stories about Minecraft and stuff. Yeah, bit messages, I guess, aren't showed up, showing up. But yeah, the, the original Humanity's Grace, I think, is Dax. Logs don't update automatically. Oh, you're right, they don't. Honestly, I have, I still have access to that account. Played on several accounts. I swear it's me, though. If it was eight years ago, let me search Skype logs. Yeah. That is him. Humanity's Grace. Eight years ago. On the Creeper Cartel. I sold you a house. And uh, you became a moderator for one of the servers. And I remember building you like a blaze farm and you were part of a big town in it. That's crazy. I'm amazed I remember the username. Did you raise shiny chance? No, I didn't. That's crazy. Yeah, do you remember? Do you remember me at all? I'm curious. Does humanity? Does humanity's grace remember me at all? Because I feel like I had a fairly memorable Minecraft skin at the time. I'm just curious. Does he remember me at all? It was a while ago. Can't le get leafy on or glaceon. You can, but I think it's post game. Was the skin just a big end? No, nope. it was one I made for myself. How much have you missed you just got here? Um, someone that I sold a Minecraft house to eight years ago, chat found, and now he's in chat right now. So that happened. <laughs> Which is crazy. Tomato, thank you for giving us up to humanity's grace. You can't get it at all in this game, really? That's sad. That's insanity. Yeah, just like how you guys found Jesse, the Kingdom Hearts guy. Yeah. Brother, that's insane. It's absurd. Yeah. 
Brought Jesse back from the dead. Brought Dax. Back. Because, like, once the, the server died, I never spoke to him again. Until today. That's crazy. That's actually absurd. Oopa Doopa, thanks for the six months. How did Lloyd find him? I don't know. I need to start, like, considering the things that I say a little bit more seriously, because I didn't think mentioning a single Minecraft username from eight years ago, people would be able to find and get him in chat. Like, what? Anyone keeping track of the attempts? Yeah, it's right here. Sorry, YouTube, you found me on Twitch. Welcome, Yeet Lord, Master of Yeeters. Thanks for the Prime. Did I get a haircut? No. I need to. Internet's wild sometimes, yeah. I need to be careful not to, like, say anything bad about someone and then be like, hey, this is their name. Is that a scar on my head? No, it's acne. Good old acne. Anyone else you'd like me to find? Um... No. The Undead Pug, thanks for the 13 months, Pog! You find me. I don't- Don't- Don't do that. Don't- Don't- No- Don't just say me. Chat will find you. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> so, back- Alright, back to Halloween. My mom was like, Halloween stories! <clears throat> There was one, I feel like I did one Halloween costume that was a little bit insensitive. I mean, not enough to be like, like canceled in the modern day, but it was a little insensitive in the past. There was one where it wasn't blackface. No, no, it wasn't that. Were you a Roblox kid? No, I remember playing Roblox and I was like, this seems like it's for kids. And I was like, 13. Uh, yo, Nuka, thanks for the 10 bucks. Is this the moment to make it into YouTube video? Also, just in case Eevee isn't male, Grace could be a good backup name, that's true. Nistol, thanks for the four months. Four months, that's almost 100. It is. Did I miss any subs? Top foul? I might have missed yours. Um, I'm sorry if I miss any subs. Oblivion Guard. Stop, you violated the law. Pay the court fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Uh, thanks for the five. Yep. Uh huh. Uh, you think I need to play on it? Yes, okay. Whoops. Why did I... I don't know what I did there. Apparently it typed permit. I was trying to type in slash user and it permit. I just wanted to see if they typed again. Tranky, thanks for the seven months. What a okay, so the, the costume that I did in, I think it was around grade eight. So I was still pretty young. I was like, you know, it'd be funny. You know, it'd be a real good costume for Halloween. Used to have, yeah, I guess me, we used to have matching costumes where it'd be like a pumpkin or stuff. That's true. But I'm thinking about the ones I did in high school. Because I did a few cool costumes in high school, but I'm going to talk about the first one. The one that I- the only one that I put into. Oh my goodness. Thanks for the bits, Humanities Grace, by the way. I appreciate it. But yeah, okay, so the first one that I did in grade 8, I got a pair of like old dad jeans that were too big, like so big that I couldn't, um, so big that I, like I needed a belt, but I ended up using like a yellow rope, you know, like those cheap yellow ropes, tied it up around, 
I got like one old shoe. I got like a, just a, a boot that was like torn a little bit. Like the, the, the tongue was torn and stuff. And I got like a, a jacket and then a, a big, a, a heavier jacket that was also torn up. That was used, we use it in like cleaning up and stuff. Like doing um, yard work with. And I got one of those, I, I don't know how to describe them other than those Russian hats. One of those Russian hats that you see in like cliche like Russian characters wear in movies. Yushanka, Ashanka, I don't know. Like where, where it, like the ear flaps and there's like also like a flap on the front and a flap on the back, I don't know. Yeah, whatever that dog is wearing in that emote, that hat. I got one of those hats from like, um, I got one of those hats as well. And uh, I got some dirt spread it all over my face, got a can and put a few pebbles into it. I sat down in the hallway on Halloween and I shook the can. I was a homeless person for Halloween in grade eight. <laughs> the great thing was about it was that enough people actually put money into my can that I was able to buy lunch that day. But I said it was a little insensitive. But after that, that's probably like the worst costume that I think I ever had. But uh, after that, like I, I got lunch and oh, the, the big thing was um I, I okay here here's what makes up for it here this this will make up for it. There was a charity thing that we were doing. It was like I don't know some thing like Halloween for hunger or whatever where I volunteered to go around and instead of trick-or-treating, we would ask for food to go to the local food bank. And so, as a homeless person in grade eight, dressed up as a homeless person, I went out to random houses and asked for food. <laughs> I ended up giving it to the local food bank. <laughs> But my god, looking back, probably wasn't the most, the, the best choice of a costume. <laughs> it wasn't the best choice of a costume, I will admit. <laughs> but I mean, we got like, like bags and bags of food. So it wasn't for nothing. Whoops. It was a great promotion for the food bank. I disagree. It, my mom thought it was a great costume. I think of mom, it's kind of insensitive just because like, there's people that are homeless that are actually suffering and kind of making a Halloween costume is a little bit insensitive because you know, you're just... Like, it would be better to be you know, a little bit something that might not be as, as real. It's just, it's just, it's just insensitive, I guess, looking back. <laughs> Most, yeah, the people that I went to and asked for food, they understand. They thought it was funny at the time, but looking back, duh. Yeah. Did people actually think you were homeless? No, but they said good costume, very fitting. It would have been insensitive if you were a scary hobo. No, I was a sexy hobo. Um. Anyways, the other costumes that I did, the one I woke up one morning and I realized it was Halloween. And... Heck. <laughs> Soul of Cinder, thanks for the prime. Uh, the one thing, the one costume that I did, I woke up one morning and I was like, I have no idea what I want to do, what I want to be. So I grabbed like a hat. I grabbed a hat, 
got a coat hanger, lined the coat hanger around the hat so it stuck out the very top of the hat. I took some cardboard, formed it into like eight different triangles, and then stuck it on in like a gem shape, and went to school. And I was a sim for the day. I had never played The Sims, but I was like, yeah, this will work. Nice green crystal over my head. It was great. I never played the game, but people recognize it like, hey, cool. Nice costume. Thank you. I put 20 minutes of work into it. All right, let's change the music. This one keeps popping up. Maybe not. What's this one? We'll stick with this for a little bit. Just want to experience this one. Sodoplicity, I agree. Sodoplicity is so good. We're doing Sodoplicity next. DJ, thanks for the prime. Three months, welcome back. Do you remember some of the video projects you did for school? I did some, yeah. Oh, I remember one. God, that was... I remember one that was just terrifying. Um... So I was at school. It was grade... 5. I remember it was grade 5. So I'm pretty young. And... We were doing... We had to do a video explaining the fur trade in Canada because like when people first came to Canada or whatever apparently that was a huge a huge uh, industry was fur trading like like wild animal furs like beaver pelts and stuff and so I remember I was trying to get uh, I was at school in the computer lab and I was working on finding stuff for the video and I remember searching, I was like, I need to find a picture of these animals. So I search up like various animals and I eventually end up searching for beaver on Google. Now at this time, Google safe search wasn't a thing. And if you don't know, beaver is another name for the female's reproductive parts. <laughs> and so in school, I remember searching that up in grade five, that popping up, and I just like scream over to my mouse and like close that as fast as I could. I was terrified and then I never searched it up again. I was like, well, guess I'm not gonna search that up. I guess I'm just not gonna use that. Just beaver? Yeah, literally just that. I was terrified. I was like, I I can't even search that up in school. I guess I'm just I'm just I'm just not gonna search up that. Like it was a while ago, and I was just terrified. Can the school computer see your history? Yeah, I searched up the word beaver. It's so innocent. I'm just looking for the animal. I'm on a fur trading project. <laughs> All right. What's going on? Have watched Pokemon. We're trying to get a shiny Pokemon, a shiny Eevee. You guys. Uh, we're very adamant that we should try and get a shiny Eevee. Yeah, 
Yeah, I imagine if you search it up now, it's just, you know, pictures of the animal and the occasional furry pic. Bruh. What, buddy? What? Is there a maximum number of resets to do for the challenge? Uh, a hundred thousand. One in eight thousand chance. It's, uh, higher than that because I'm incredibly lucky. The game hasn't been modified at all, but I'm just a really lucky person. Which shiny evolution will you choose? I'll let Chad vote. I think it's most likely gonna be Umbreon, though. We're coming up on my guess for the shiny. What was your guess, Little Root? You guess one six nine seven. We'll see. We'll see. How many resets has it been? We've done. 300-ish. Nice, Luxo. Okay. Didn't you say you give to sub for a hundred resets? Yes, I would give to sub for every 100 resets. Um, but we only gift it once we get the shiny. Ah. Two thousand National Park, yes it is. PL Kitty, thanks for the five. I appreciate the support, thank you so much. Well, if it isn't pro streamer, dude, what's up? If you name your Eevee G9S56, you get a 1 in 56 chance. Alright. G9S... S... 56. No, it's G9. G9... S... 56. Okay. If that's actually true, I'll do it. But I doubt it. Just bad luck, that was just bad luck, that one. Yeah, PL Kitty, thank you for the gifted subs, I appreciate it. What if we name it- Ah! Nope. I doubt it when you said you were lucky last week, but after getting toted out so quickly, you believe? Yeah! It only works on certain, on certain hidden trainer IDs. Huh. Wait, that's actually true though? I mean, I could probably cheat to find my hidden trainer ID, but I don't wanna. I don't think it's true, there's a chance it could be. No RNG manipulation. If there's manipulation, I can do it. You'd have a 50% chance after 700 resets. I don't think the math checks out there. Because... Are you sure it's a 50% chance after 700 resets? It's a 1 in 8,000 chance. We got a shiny Eevee! 
We got it! Holy crap! It's just not visually shiny. It's all right, we'll keep going. <sighs> I mean, it was a shiny Eevee, was it not? I scared you. <laughs> you got bamboozled. Absolutely bamboozled. I'm gonna be doing it for 10 hours, whatever. It's worth it. Eevees are cool. Yo, PL Kitty, thanks for giving a sub. Appreciate it. So it's gonna take two years? No, it won't. This is gonna take the rest of the day, maybe. Maybe. It could be the next attempt. We could very just we could just get it on the next attempt. Okay. Oh, he's optimistic? Yeah. I'm lucky. You guys know this. I'm, I'm a lucky guy. It's not gonna take 8,000 tries. I know that. Lukage, thanks for the eight months. Is there a faster Eevee that we could get? Like... Would hatching eggs be faster? I don't know. Probably not. Can you get an Eevee from like the game corner is what I'm thinking? I don't know. PL Kitty, thanks for giving another sub. This is the only one? Alright. Didn't we get a shiny Eevee? It was just a nickname. It was an Eevee that was nicknamed Shiny. You need an international Eevee? I guess. I think you could definitely manipulate, but you'd have to have a Google tutorial. Yeah? I mean, you'd have to know, like, the background info on the game, right? Sancho, Jatini, and Abra. Ah. Is this even a shiny lock? No, it's not. Oops. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Sangman, please read the rules. Three Pokemon that start with an S, um, Sandile, Superior, Swablu. Yeah, I can't breed it because I would have a non-shiny in the Daker exactly, that's true. Wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> What capture code am I using? Uh, just a regular one. Alright, next song is Sidopolis City. I'm actually searching this one.
It's so good. All right, what else could we talk about? What else might be? Oh, uh, what might be interesting? I'm not turning media share on. You guys don't know how media share works. You guys don't know how media share works if you're asking for it. I can't just turn it on. That's not how it works. I need to have all of the mods here to be able to check to see if the video breaks the rules or not. And if it breaks the rules, it can't play on stream. I also have to set it up so the br there's the browser source. I have to turn it on. It's, it's a lot of work, which is why I do it so infrequently. Okay. If it's a shiny with the thumbnail, also naming it be shiny? Uh, no, apparently not. Like, uh, right here you see 10 inches is shiny, right? But the thumbnail doesn't show it as being shiny, so it doesn't, unfortunately. With media share, people playing videos on stream. They play Heavy Rain from Sapphire. We'll see. Will this be a world first? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Someone's probably done it before, but it'll be the first time I've done it. Are there any Pokemon that have to be collected? The starter? This one technically doesn't have to. But we're doing it anyways. I'm gonna check to see my YouTube subs, because we might actually reach 500k this stream. Yeah, we're at 498744. I need another 1,200 subscribers on YouTube, and then I reach 500,000. Half a million. Still no Eevee? Hey, it's gonna take a while. PL Kitty, thank you for gifting another sub. Nothing is shiny locked in this game. Nothing is shiny locked until uh, it's Gen 5. Gen 5 is when shiny lock things happen. How long have you been trying for Eevee? I think it's around... Uh, yo, Azrael, thanks for the three subs. I think it is around um, 20 minutes. You think you'll ever schedule two Pokemon streams a week? I think I like doing one a week because it keeps it so I'm always looking forward to Pokemon streams. It's enough where I'm always looking forward to it. Why did you choose for Alligator? It was the shiny one. Out of the three starters, it was the one that was shiny. The Grim Reaper. Thank you for gifting 10 subs. And Tayo, thanks for subbing as well. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Ant Colony, everybody. Thank you, Grim Reaper. The trades are shiny locked. Well, there you go. It's so catchy. I love this. What if this takes the rest of your life? It won't. Okay, do the three ads. Oh, right. Someone did redeem an ad earlier. I should play that. That's a good point. Daniel, thanks for the prime. All right, all right. What, what else could I talk about that is interesting for you guys? Let's see. Oops, I press B. What could it be? I, I went through a bunch of Minecraft stories earlier. We could go through some... Drunk story. I've never really been, like... I've been drunk very not often at all. Like, so infrequently. <laughs> I don't doubt if I was drunk more often than Tanner. For me,
The last time I was probably like drunk was end of February. I think. I'm trying to think if there's any more in between that. Oh. Last concert you were at? I have never been to a concert. I don't think I've ever been at a concert. Like, I, I've been to one where I was at, like, a, a school event, and there was, like, Marianne Trench, Nickelback, uh, Avril Lavigne, and some other people there, but they all did, like, one song. And then, like, we're gone. There's another band as well, I can't remember. But it was just, like, a school event that they just happened to be at. It's like, it wasn't like a concert, it was like a, it was like a bunch of speeches, but they keep people entertained, they had music in between. Gotta keep wondering what's next badge, thank you for the 400 bits. How long did it take the first shiny? Uh, just a little bit, not too long. It was like, the, the first half of last stream. You smoke weed? No, I don't really have any interest. What are, so, so any county, province, fairs? No. Good God. Thank you for the 50 gift subs, the Grim Reaper. Welcome to the ant colony, you 50? And Kirk, thank you for the eight months. <laughs> this is a small great brain, forgot to three sub. Hey, that's all right, you're back. Oh my Lord, watching for almost a year now, I think you said welcome. Ah. Uh. That's an insane amount. Thank you so much. What did you say? What did you say? I saw you. Deal with the boys. Thank you. <laughs> You're so generous. Thank you so much. Well, we're just doing this. Each attempt is one that could be shiny. That's it. New to the streams. Welcome to the streams. I still can't get over how much I hear Daniel Giesling in your voice. I haven't watched much much of his content, like ex his exclusive content, very often. But I, in like Team Unity stuff, I I hear him a lot. Do you like malt beer? I don't really like beer. Probably a big factor as to why I don't drink much alcohol. Frantic! Antelope, thanks for the Prime. And Bithun, thanks for the Tier 1. Appreciate the support. Alright. What's your go-to liquor? If I'm- if I have, like, alcohol, it's usually, like, rum and coke. When you start a stream, do you expect to get to this point? Like, in terms of viewership and, like, followers? No. Literally... When- when I- so... How about- how about this? How about for- Just so we have a little bit more of a break, what I'll do... Once we get to 2,000 resets... We'll go and get the fourth badge, just as a break. And then we'll do a few more resets, and then we'll go and get Gyarados, and then we'll come back just to break it up a little bit. Does that sound good? Because we don't have to do this right now.
What's your affiliate story? Uh, I'm pretty sure I was affiliate right when affiliate came out because I had enough people watching. We'll get it before 2000? That sounds good. Wait, what did Grim Reaper say? A lot of people are saying Grim Reaper's name in chat again. What does Grim Reaper say? What do you do? Before 1800, do you think I'm gonna get it in the next one? He said, you're gay? I'm not gay though. Oh, that's why people were saying Grim Reaper's name. Oh my god! Um... Thank you... For the... 50... More gift subs, Grim Reaper? <clears throat> wow. Welcome to the Ant Colony U50! And thank you, again. That's so generous. Got a bunch of new people just dropping by the ant colony today, huh? That's crazy. That's actually amazing. Wow. Just up to my YouTube, hey, sounds good. People really want to see drill percent. We're getting closer. Sora with five gift subs as well. <laughs> Thank you, Sora. Let's change the music. What are we doing? Oh, I love this song too. Let's do this. Wally theme. All right, we can do that next. Go, Barry. Thanks for the sub. Your YouTube brought me here, glad I stayed. I'm glad you stayed too, welcome back. Okay. Can somebody explain the reset mechanics? So, if the Pokemon isn't a shiny, that means the game didn't, they just didn't set it as being a shiny and we need to reset and get another one until it's shiny. It's a one in 8,000 chance. I wanna crack my back, crack, come on. Oh, it feels like it needs to crack, but whatever. What if you accidentally reset the game and got a shiny? I would cry and we would give up. Mm -mm -mm. But I think, I think I, I'm taking enough time to check the Eevee to see if it's okay. But the, the great thing is, is, you know, it could be within the next 10 attempts that we get the shiny. We could get the shiny in the next 10 attempts. In the next nine attempts, we could get it. How many are you gifting for every 100 subs? Or every 100 follows? Every 100 resets, sorry. I don't know what's on my brain right now. But every 100 resets, I'm gifting a sub. We've reset, I think, almost 400 times, so that'll be four subs. Once we get the shiny, I'll gift the subs, though. Sorry, I just got a bunch of stuff. But yeah, someone asked earlier, like, did you ever expect to get this far? No. I remember um, when I went full time. When I went full time in uh, in May of 2019, May of last year. Oh my lord, Grim Reaper! Thank you for the 25 gift subs. Welcome back to the Ant Colony. There are 25 people. Thank you. Wow, I really appreciate that. That is a lot. Grim Reaper just keeps going. Thank you so much. That is so, so generous. <laughs> Grim Reaper's in a sub war with himself. Your first ever DM to me was Grats on going full time. Nice. Okay. But yeah, wh when I. Yo, what's up, Silver? When I ended up making, um, when I ended up going full-time, 
I remember talking, I think, to my parents. And I said, you know, as long as I stay above 400 subs, that's enough. You know, if I stay above 400 subs on Twitch, you know, YouTube is okay, Twitch stays relatively consistent, I should be fine. I have a little more than 400 subs now. Like, it's... Things have just grown way larger than I ever could have imagined. Like, I remember when I promised I'd do a Breath of the Wild 100% at 500 subs. Because I... In my, in my brain, I was like, I am never going to reach that. Never. I said as a joke, if I ever get to 9,000 subs, I will gift 1,000 subs. Because... I'm never gonna get there. I don't need to do that. And then we reached 9,000 subs, and I gifted a thousand. I've done that already, by the way. I'm not doing that again. Um, I remember I said, I'll get a tattoo at 10k subs. I'm never gonna get to 10k subs. That's ridiculous. Like, literally the top 50 streamers on Twitch get that. I'm never gonna be, th be that point. We got to, like, 13k, like, two months ago. What? I literally said I would do a stream on Mars if I got to 4,000 subs. Which, by the way, I am still working on. And you guys will understand once the stream starts why it's taking so long. Zane, thanks for the two months. Tattoo update? Probably once COVID stuff is over, I'll go and get it. I haven't done it yet. You've really earned it, though? I mean, yeah, like... 2019 was every waking hour, almost every waking hour working. Like, I, I don't think I had, like, more than three hours of leisure time a week. What tattoo will you get? I don't know. I'm not really sure. That's not healthy? No, it wasn't. But it got me to where I am now. And doing that for a year... I mean, I think that would be that was worth it. I think that was worth it. I mean, I'm gonna get like an ant tattoo. Hot Mexican baker. Thanks for the six months. Appreciate it. Get a whooper tattoo. Oh, that, that's cute. He is a pretty whoopy boy. A nine inches tattoo. Oh my god. But what if I push it? A small ant tattoo. I might, maybe I'll just get a dot. Hey, that, what's that dot? It's a small ant. I reset by accident. That could have been the shiny. Hi, you're new. Welcome. What evolution will you be doing? Uh, we're gonna be voting once I get it. How are, are you ever embarrassed to read usernames out loud? No. I say it out loud and they're the embarrassed ones if they have a bad name. You know, honestly, the more embarrassing ones I read out more often. Lickle should design your tattoo. I was honestly considering it. But I haven't put, like, a serious thought into it yet. Because I just, I haven't, been, like, I'm too busy with other stuff. Is your name embarrassing? Yeah, it has a crow in it. But it's okay, you're okay, Retro Crow. Okay, Sora, get things up to Galactic Elliot. Elliot, welcome back to the Ant Colony. Alright, let's go. Wait, was that a tier 3? Yo, Sora, thank you for the tier 3 sub. What the heck, I didn't even notice that. Thank you. Welcome back to the Ant Colony, that's amazing. Do you dislike Point Grow? Not actually, no. How long will you reset today? I said if we, once we get to if we get to 2,000 resets without the shiny, we're gonna go get the fourth badge. 
Slap Prof, thanks for the Prime. So that'll be a little bit of an adventure, just to break it up a little bit. How is this not boring for you? I got you guys to talk to. I wonder if there's any other stories. I feel like the more stories I tell, the better I get at telling stories. It's weird how that happens. The more you do something, the better you get at it. Isn't that strange? Um, i trying to think if I can come up with any more stories, but I'm going to be completely out of just story juice in my brain. Can you just solo with for alligator and not reset at all? You're right, I could. But chat voted to get a shiny Eevee. And I'm a people pleaser, so I'll do it. I, do you think your viewers ref reflect your personality? I think the stream, yeah, I think like the way a streamer acts and reacts to things definitely is the biggest thing that directs chat, like for sure. Cause like if you're if you're gonna act a certain way, it's gonna act a certain audience, for sure. Azrael, thanks for giving a sub. One three six eight is what the counter counter was before resetting for the shiny Eevee, so we're almost four hundred resets in. Trying to think. Good school stories? I went through a bunch of school stories. Let's see, what else we got? The real Zim Shady. Thanks for the three months and thanks for the thousand bits. So you like pleasing people, hmm? Thank you. <laughs> yup. I mean, I could... I remember the story of how I found this shirt, which is... Kind of creepy, but also not. The unique Gandalf, thanks for the Prime. So this shirt... I first saw it... Being worn... When I was like... Gosh, like 15 or 16. I was watching Shady Penguin. Doing Pokemon stuff. On his YouTube channel. And occasionally he'd wear this shirt, and I was like, that is such a cool shirt. Where did he get that shirt? And I tried, like, looking, I tried commenting on videos. Where did he get that shirt? Where did he get that shirt? What happened? How, is he, how did he find that? And I never got any responses. No one ever answered. Because it's just a random comment on a big video, right? And so I, uh... I, I gave up on the comments. And what I ended up doing was I went through... Every single one of his uploads for like three months. And I was like, all right, let's find every single video that has that shirt in it and scan the comments. Cause someone might know. Someone might have mentioned it. Someone might have been like, nice shirt. And then he responded to it or something, right? Um, so I searched through like all of them and I ended up finding someone saying in the comments, I really love that shirt. It looks so nice. And then someone below, they were like, yeah, they're, they're a great artist that made it. It's Swami Tsunami. And I'm like, Swami Tsunami? Huh. What is this? Someone named Swami Tsunami? And so I search up Swami Tsunami, scroll a bit, and I find a Redbubble account on Swami Tsunami that had this design. And I remember finding it. I was actually, I was sitting on the toilet in the in the bathroom of my parents' house. I was sitting there, just scrolling through, and I found it. <laughs> and uh, I went through Redbubble, found the design, found the shirt, and I was like, I found it at long last, and I ordered it. I ordered two other shirts as well from Swami Tsunami. It was great, and now I, I've been wearing it since. It's super good quality. It hasn't faded whatsoever, and I've had the shirt for like five years. Like, it, it's, it's incredible. It's a real good shirt. Yeah, don't search up Swami Tsunami unless you're over 18, by the way. They're a very NSFW artist, but they just also happen to have some red bubble stuff that they sell that is an NSFW. <laughs> mm. 
Sometimes your dedication scares me. When I put my mind to something, it is going to happen. Summer camp stories. I never went to any summer camps. Is moderator a real person? No, moderators are, moderator isn't real. They can't hurt you. Any stories from karate class? Actually, yes. Yes, I do have... It's an admirable, admirable and terrifying trait. Yeah. <clears throat> I, when I was like in kindergarten grade one, my mom, I think, I think my mom encouraged me to sign up for anything that I could in order to find hobbies that I liked. And so I was in like karate, swimming lessons, like a book club, piano lessons. I did pretty much everything just to find something that I liked. And I was in karate and I had a white belt at the time and I finished my karate lesson. But the thing with karate is that they finished at around 4 p.m. and my mom got off work at 5 p.m. So I'd have to sit there and do nothing for an hour while I waited for my mom to come pick me up because I was like super young. A dart seat, Craig, thanks for the prime and unique Gandalf. Thanks for the sub as well. Um, so yeah, I ended up doing that. I got to the point where I was almost a yellow belt and stuff. Charles, the day man, thanks for the three months. And I remember I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but I always had to wait an hour. And, uh, there's the one day that they had a class. What, you're still on Eevee? So, wait, wait, before we go into the, the proceed here. You're still on Eevee. So it's a 1 in 8,000 chance. And I have reset 400 times. Come on. <laughs> There's like a 4.9% chance it would have appeared. Anyways, there was one day where I was waiting for like an hour. I was just like, I don't know what I was doing. I just fidgeted the whole time. And there was people that were like in the higher class up that were doing stuff. And the uh, the karate teacher person, whatever they're called, was like, hey, do you want to join for the day? And I was like, sure, why not? And I remember standing in front of everyone that was or standing with everyone around me. We're all facing in one direction. Sensei, yeah, instructor, I can't remember. But anyways, I remember standing there and everyone was getting ready and then he yelled something out. I didn't hear what it was and everyone just did like the and like pose in some other pose and I had no idea what the hell they were doing and I was just standing still and everyone moved at once and I didn't know what the heck anyone said or what anyone was doing. And then he said something else and everyone was like and they moved into a different pose. And I was just freaking out because how, how am I supposed to participate if I have no idea what to do when he yells certain things? And so I end up, I just, I become like really overwhelmed because I was a fraggle child and I just started crying. I just like started crying and walked to the side. And he was like, are you okay? And I was like, is my foot, my, my foot. He was like, okay. You just sit here then and wait. And I just cried for like, like an hour until my mom came pick me up. <laughs> Cause I was just so overwhelmed. Did not know what was going on and they continued their thing. But yeah, I just, I just, I was so overwhelmed. Afixa, thanks for the three months. Appreciate it. It was sad, but when it went to, I remember I could have gotten my yellow belt, which is I believe the yellow, the level above a white belt. And my mom like asked me, do you want to continue? And I remember searching, or I remember thinking about it, whether she asked me if I wanted to proceed and actually get like a yellow belt. And I was like, I really like it, but an hour is too long of a wait. I'm not going to wait an hour after every class. And so I just didn't. So I was like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> so the whole reason I'm not 
a karate master to this day is because my mom worked an hour after karate lessons ended. So that's the reason, yeah. That's the only reason. We're still on the starter? No, I have a starter. It's level 30. It's 10 inches. Look. Not on a starter. We have a shiny. We're trying to get another one. If, if, if my mom worked an hour earlier, the old, like... I wouldn't be a, a Twitch streamer, I would be a universal karate master. Did you do band? There was no band in, in my town, it was too small. What happened in 9 inches? We pushed it. And it evolved into 10. Even better than Jackie Chan, even better than Jackie Chan. Actually, that's a lie. We did have a band. I, I did have a band once. Yeah. Yeah, it was after school. Um, after school, me and me and some friends, we found this box of uh, of some stuff. Uh, we found a box, and uh, we, we ended up taking it all out of the box, and we were making noise with a bunch of the stuff in the box. And we were like, hey, you know what? We should make a band. And then everyone's like, what? With a bunch of stuff in this box? And I was like, yeah, you know. With all the with all the uh, elastics in this box, we can make an elastic band. That actually happened, I'm not kidding. And then they groaned. Bruh. I mean, I, I literally said that. It was so good. Do, do, do. Do, Verbank? Okay. Alright. Verbank. Do, do. Nice story though, thank you. Thank you. Any plans to do with the sharpeners? I don't know. I don't know. We'll probably do some pencil sharpening next Thursday, I'm thinking. Try and beat the record. What? Yes. Okay. Were you the lead singer? No, there was no singers. We just had elastic bands that we made noise with. Okay. This is content. Oh, it is. You're insane. Big love, Cowan. Thank you. Let's see. What else? Is the reset co Yeah, this is a total run resets. Uh, we were at 1366 once we uh, started this. Good. I feel so bad for you. Why? People seem to be enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's a good time. The Grim Reaper, thanks for the bits. My bank sent an email. Won't let me give more subs. I guess I'm failing from success. Thank you for the support, though, Grim Reaper. Thank you. That's all right. You don't need to give more subs. You don't got to worry about it. Shiny hunting is great. It's all right. It's very chill. It's like some of the most chill streams we've had, but people seem to like the stories. That's cool. Any awkward date stories? I've never really been on any, like, official dates. People that I've started dating, we just hung out a lot. But it wasn't, like, dates. You know? Do you play chess? Not really ever. Actually. There was one thing where... Um... There was one time I remember playing chess. And this- this changed the way I thought for the rest of my life. The one time I played chess. 
There was a chess tournament at my school when I was in grade three. And it's a small school. There's maybe like eight, 12 people in it. And I remember I had a guaranteed win. I had destroyed this person. Her name was Dana. I had destroyed her in this chess match. She had like four pieces. I had most of my pieces left. It was an easy win. It was an easy win. And I felt bad, so I was like, you know what? I can checkmate her this turn, but I'll just give her some pieces so she doesn't feel bad. And so I did. I was like, I'll give her some pieces just, just so she doesn't feel bad, but... What I didn't realize was by giving her mercy, it created a chain of events that led to me losing the game and getting knocked out of the tournament on the first round. And I remember thinking to myself after that, like, I, I saw the win. I could have checkmated her on that turn and I didn't do it. And literally from that point on, I told myself, I am never sandbagging in my life ever again. Ever again. If no matter what, if anyone is ever like, if someone's like, if it's a competitive thing and I'm trying to get better, I will never simp. No, I wasn't attracted to her at all. I just didn't want them. To, I didn't want someone to feel bad when I was the one that felt bad. <laughs> Crumble. Okay. Crumbled grapes, thanks for the two months. So yeah, after that, like, no matter how confident I am going into something, I tell myself, I, I think of that chess game. It actually comes up so often, like anytime there's anything competitive. Like, if I'm confident, I remember that game. And I, like, if someone is convinced they're better than me at Smash or something, like I remember when I played Smash, People that thought they were better than me, I know I could crush them. I did not go easy. I never sandbagged at all. And I, I, I refuse to. It's just... If that's, if that's what it's gonna be, if it increases your chances of failing, I'm not gonna do it. What's sandbagging? It's deliberately making yourself worse to make the other person feel better. What happened to you with Smash? Uh, whenever I went to ask people to practice with me, um, I would be left on red in the community. And, uh, I got frustrated and I left because no one ever wanted to get better. Well, everyone wanted to get better, but no one was willing to put in the work. Too good for the community. I wasn't even that good. Like I was, I was top of the elo when I when I played Smash in my city. I was top of the elo. This was in Smash Four, and um, we had like a group chat, and I was the top of the elo. And every single day, what ended up happening was I would go into the group chat and be like, "Hey, does anyone want to come over and practice today? Does anyone want to play?" And I would be left on red. They would start another conversation. No one would even acknowledge. No one would even say no. And I did that for two weeks, and every single time I was left under it. I was top of the elo, and no one, they refused to practice at all. And like, whenever you go to weeklies, they're like, oh, I wish I was better. It's like, well, you wish you were better, but you're not putting in the effort, because I'm giving people opportunities. I say, I'm free for eight hours today. From this time to this time, if anyone wants to hang out, just hit me up. No one would. They just wouldn't talk, wouldn't say anything. And so, after two weeks of that, I, I sent a frustrated message. I'm like, hey guys, I've been asking every single day if anyone wants to practice, and no one ever does. I, like, it, it seems like none of you want to get better, and because of that, I'm not able to get better because none of you are getting better, and you are the only people that I can play against. So I'm not going to play anymore. I'm done. And I stopped playing Smash.
And... Did they answer? I left the group chat after. I sent that message, I left the group chat. Didn't even wait for a response. I left them be. Yeah, I mean... People online would have played me, but online sucks. Especially in Smash 4. I just let them be. Is that about- that was Smash 4. Dead serious thanks to the tier 1. Okay. What- is this the incident from the fact? I thought we removed that from the fact. Because it wasn't actually like an incident, it was kind of just a meme. We hit 1800, we do? We did? Alright, what's another sound? What's another one? I only just realized how stupid your name is. What? Small ant? It's an adjective and a noun. What are you talking about? Let's see... Are you still good at Smash? I'm better than a casual person because I have fundamentals pretty well, but... No, I'm not like competitive good. I'm like, I can beat... Anyone that's played casually in their home and has gone online and thinks they're good, I can pretty pretty much stomp them. But if it's someone who's actually competed in any like competitive event, they could probably beat me. How long have you been trying to get the shiny Eevee? Um, pretty much all day. Maybe like minus 30 minutes. You sandbagging other people's set practice sessions to keep it up? No. Like I said, I don't sandbag. And, like, when I was getting better, no one sandbagged for- I would ask them not to sandbag. Because I don't want to play against someone who's trying to be bad, I'm trying to play against someone who's good. Still on this Eevee? Yeah! If we get bad luck, it'll take like 24 hours. Dentist, thanks for the six months, appreciate it. What else? What What is a, a, a good story I could tell you guys? Let's see. Music, by the way? Lavender Town? Okay. Um... You smoke weed? Nah. Middle school, big brain time. What's the song? What's the song? I'm decent to play against level 9s when 75% of the time. Yeah, like, for me, I'm good enough that, like, a level 9 is, like, free. Like, it's super easy. Clara battle theme? I don't know what this is, but sure. Oh, that's not the battle theme. That's the battle theme. Go. Do you always win or win like 90% of the time? Like it would uh, it would be hard pressed for me to lose against a level 9 bot. Like it, like I would be it's like it doesn't happen kind of thing. All right. So I played it when it came out for like a little bit and it was like within a Within like two days, in level nine and ultimate. Once I got comfortable with Inkling, because I just pick a character. When I do, uh, when I play a game, I just pick a character and stick with it and never switch. You have a good sleep, Mr. Oakflame. This feels like it's going forever. It is. But don't worry. Okay. Good. Me with Corb. Always Corb. Right, let's do it again. Inkling was- I meant ultimate, sorry. I meant ultimate. Yeah, Smash 4, the level 9 bots are super easy. Delay is non-existent. Let's go. Let's go. Are you planning on Legend Lugia? Legend Luigi? Maybe. How many badges do you have? We currently have three badges. 
if we get to 2,000 resets before we don't get a shiny, uh, we will uh, go get the fourth badge because it should be pretty quick. Because we have crunch, so it should be pretty easy. But I think we'll get it around 1998. Resets. Ladios or Latios? Uh, Latios. We do have a badass shiny for alligator. Exactly. We do. What's your end team going to be? Whatever chat votes on. Whatever chat's down for. All right. I'm not going to do any Smash streams ever. I've done one Smash stream once. I think I, usually I had around three to 400 average viewers. It went down to 80. Like, if you don't play Smash all the time, no one's going to watch you play Smash. <laughs> Just one of those games where you either play it or you don't. Think you'll reach over 10,000 resets? I hope not. <clears throat> you know it's only called for alligator because of character limit? I did know that, yeah. They, at, earlier, they didn't have uh, that. Zip Zonk. Master Boomy Zoomies in Breath of the Wild. Thanks to you. Nice. Let's go. All right. Are the odds increased? Not at all. Not at all, whatever. You're at 5k right now. Please make sure to read the rules. I guess I need to change the, the Nightbot settings so you can't even type that now. Wow. Always oh, weirding me out as a non-English speaker? Yeah. Like, you understand what it's supposed to say, but why didn't they just add an O's? Don't allow K's after numbers. Yeah, I, there's, you can't type K's after specific numbers, but it doesn't go up that high because I don't usually have this many viewers. But people like these challenges. It's cool. Why are you so committed to this? Because chat voted for it, and I am doing that. Whenever, whenever I say I'm going to do something, you know I'm going to do it. Let's see. What else? What else could we talk about? What is an interesting conversation that we could have? Something that's a little bit more give and take. This is gaming? It is. What do you put chat on stream so people on YouTube can see what's going on? It helps a lot with uh, people realizing that it's live on YouTube. Think it's shiny locked? It is not. It's really not. Boy, right, thanks to the Prime. It really isn't. Detention story. Okay. A detention story. I got a detention story for you. Any snake stories? I've never seen a snake in real life. So, I'm in Canada, right? And in the winter, it snows a lot. And, you know, it's fun to have snowball fights. The thing is, at school, this is grade five, snowball fights aren't allowed. You're not allowed to have snowball fights. Wookie, thank you for the five subs. Let's pick a new song. Nah, I want a faster paced one. It's a good song, but I want something slightly faster. Let's go. Lavender Town for Black White. I'll work, work on it. Okay. Well, that's a little loud, isn't it? Here we go, that's better. Okay. So, um... Snowball fights weren't allowed at school. And me and a friend of mine and another person that wasn't really a friend, more of an acquaintance. After school had ended, like, right when school ended, we went out and we started throwing snowballs at each other because it's fun. But the, the supervisors that walk around the school to make sure everything's going fine outside... They saw us and they're like, hey, no, you're not allowed to do that. Go to the office. Even though it wasn't on school hours, it's still on school property. So we're like, all right, we'll go to the office. And so we start walking to the office and we realize that... The supervisor isn't following us. They just trusted us. 
to go to the office. And so me and my friend, we look back at the guy that we were having a snowball fight with. We're like, hey, just come with us. And we walk to the office. We walk past the office and we walk out the front doors of the school. And uh, at that point in time, my grandparents were visiting. So I go see my grandma. She picks me up. We go home and then uh, say bye to my friend. And uh, I go home and then the next day I'm, I'm sitting in class and I get a call from the office in the middle of, uh, in the middle of class. And, um, it turns out me and my friend walked past the office, but the other kid went to the office and snitched on himself and us. And so me and my friend had detention for the lunch hour. Well, he had no punishment at all. What, what grade? Grade 5. He wasn't a friend, he was an acquaintance. Kandali Lama, thanks for the tier 1. Appreciate it. So, for that lunch hour, I had detention. It was the only detention I've ever had. Never told my mom about it. She never, she never knew I had detention whatsoever. Because it was at lunch and it wasn't after school, which is preferred. Why wouldn't he get punished? Because he was honest. I guess. What detention? I don't know, Mom. I don't know. No, no detention. Nothing. She knows. No, she doesn't. I don't know what you're talking about. He's a traitor, though. Friggin' Braden. Can't believe he'd betray me like that. She knows. Stream over. What else? Can you play a heavy rain theme from heavy rain theme from Sapphire? Wookie, dude, what the heck? Thank you for the twenty-five gift subs, Wookie. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Echo on you twenty-five. You're so generous, man. Thank you. Oh my God. Ugh. Well, thank you. You're from Prince George? Yes, I am. I'm in Prince George. We're 230k followers right now. Pog champ. It's crazy. The whoopee boy, look at him. Ah! We're getting there. We're getting there. What's your favorite shiny? I don't know. What else? What else? Pet peeves? I have one thing that I really dislike. Like, I, I really don't dislike many people. But there's one thing that'll get me to, like, instantly, like, maybe not hate. Hate is a strong word, but but strongly dislike you and make me not want to ever, like, like, support you in any way. And I'll get to that in a moment. Um... Kinda harsh? Yeah. But... People that immediately assume they're better than someone else without even knowing anything about them. And a tier two from Nuka, thank you. That's what really frustrates me. And that's what I don't like. Is like, it doesn't even have to be like against me. They don't even have to like be against me. It could be just like, Like, I'm not giving- I'm not gonna give any examples, but, like, 
um, when I was more into speedrunning like any percent in Super Mario Odyssey, there were some people that would that would talk down to new people. Like, like, I mean, it's obvious they know better, but they would talk down as if they're better. But they've never talked to this person before. What if this person has been grinding a hell of a lot and they just don't know one thing? Like, I just, I hate that. That That's so... It's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. <laughs> just treat them like a normal person. Don't treat them like you're above them. It's just mean. Yeah. He's getting real unusual today. I mean, I'm just answering questions people are asking. Wookie with 21 more gift subs. Thank you. But yeah, Alita stuff. I, I really dislike that. It's. I, I don't. I don't understand the mindset. Wookie, thank you for 21 subs, man. That's crazy. Thanks for the 100 bits, Chameleon. Follow on YouTube videos. Is this a new challenger? Could be Grim Reaper. Could be. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, you wanted that second place spot, Wookie. I see you. I see you. I see you. Yeah. Just in anything. Someone said in chat, like, what about people that, that, that talk as if they know a lot about a subject but don't? I don't really care. The, the thing, honestly, I, I kind of... This is gonna sound weird at first, but but bear with me. You know people that, that talk as if they know a lot about a subject? And they use really long words to try and like... Almost like intimidate you into being like... I know a lot about this. You know those type of people? I really like talking to those type of people. Because it is so, so fun. Talking to, to really pretentious people, I guess is a good way to put it. Because generally, they just have no idea what they're talking about. And you can get them to dig themselves into such a deep hole. And it's fun to just show them, like, you know proof about something and just be like, yeah. You actually have no idea what you're talking about at the end of it. It's so fun. Just, like, making them actually admit that they know nothing about it after they've dug such a big hole. Ah, it's good. It's good. I, I did that in the past. I actually had a friend like that. He had the best intentions. Like, he's he's a really good person, but he just couldn't help himself. He just couldn't help himself. Whereas he, he had to, like, talk as if he knew everything. And it was fun to dig him into holes and to be like, you actually don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Incredibly tedious challenge. It's a bit tedious, yeah, for sure. Red Lopey, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Anconi. One ups, uh, Raph Axis. Sergeant Baha, thanks for the five. What's popping? This run, popping off. I said if we get to 2000, by the way, just a reminder if we get to 2000 and we haven't got the shiny yet, we're gonna go get the fourth badge. Then come back. Is merch available yet? Nope. Why do you want the EV? Because chat voted for it. Did you fake signatures on exams because you didn't want to show your mom? No. For me, I am the... Like... I, I, I'm very fortunate. I have a very, very good memory. If I know I need to remember something, I'll remember it in terms of like school. Like information. So for school, I never really had any issues. Like, I had, like, I did well in school. I just, like, you got a shiny totodile? It ruins the run. No, duh, I'm kind of glad we got it, because that means we never actually have to sit down. Do shiny Eevees e stay shiny when you evolve them? Yes. How long have you been grinding for EV? Like, 20 minutes? You haven't missed too much. Do, does a cute... Charm glitch? I'm not going to do the cute charm glitch. I don't know what that means either. I 
It's extended for alligator only. What? You're, you're saying the point of the... What do you mean? Exactly. It, that defeats the purpose of a shiny only run. It's just an extended weight required on a for alligator only run. Nah, the fact that I got a shiny for alligator is just stupid lucky. It just makes the challenge easier because we got lucky. That's all it is. Is possible to unshiny the Lake of Gyarados? Lake of Rage Gyarados? No, it's not. It's literally... It, the, the fact that we got specifically a shiny Totodile is like the 1 in 8,000 chance. Full odds, shiny, and it's a female. Which is even rarer. Oh, really? A 20% chance to get shiny on specific ones? It's crazy. What is the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? There was one time... Okay, so... I'll... I'll I think one something something that was very scary happened to me, but also right before it probably one of my w One example as to why I say I'm always very lucky The bag of cats guy yeah, that was pretty scary But the the let's see one of the luckiest moments of my life. I've told I've told you guys it before but my dad and I we were going to be going, uh, we were going quadding, or ATV, whatever you call it, where you're from. Like a four-wheeled, like, handlebars vehicle. And, um, some people call it a quad bike, I guess. But yeah, most people say ATV. Um, so... A four-wheeler, yeah. But anyways, me, my dad, and I, we're gonna go four-wheeling up the mountain. That's what we were thinking about doing. And so, we we go to leave the house, and he gets his sunglasses on, and it's kind of like mid-afternoon. It's like 3, 4 p.m. at this point. And um, he's like, grabs his sunglasses, and he's like, hey, do you want so to bring sunglasses too? It, we will be driving. And the sun will probably be in your eyes. And I'm like, no, I don't like, I don't want to wear sunglasses. I don't want that at all. I don't want that. And uh, he's like, okay, if you're, if, you, if that, I mean, if that's the case, we'll, we'll just go then. And so we go and I'm, I'm sitting in front of him and he's got the arms around the handlebars and stuff. I'm sitting there and um, we're, we're, he's driving, we're going up a mountain. And for a really long time, you're on a straightaway that goes directly into the setting sun. And so the sun is going directly into my eyes and I like elbow him as like the sun is in my eyes. Like we, he, he stops, I talk to him. The sun's in my eyes, I, I can't see anything, it hurts. So I just have to have my eyes closed. And he's like, I told you if you wanted to bring sunglasses, you could have. You just gotta, you gotta sit with it and, and, and settle. I'm like, okay, whatever. And he starts up the, uh, the ATV again and goes, rides forwards. And we come up to a bridge that's going over water. And I see something. I'm not quite sure what I see, but I see something and I'm like, I elbow him again. It's like, stop, stop, stop. He's like, what, what, what? And he stops right at the edge of the bridge. I go down below the bridge. And no joke, floating along in the water. Floating along in the water is a pair of sunglasses. I pluck it out of the water. I put them on and I walk back to the ATV. And he's like, where'd you get those? They were in the water. And we go up the mountain. Like, stuff like that has happened my entire life. I'm lucky. Like, I, I don't, I didn't even spot them. I was like, there's something there. Rem yeah, that's like when I found the juice boxes, exactly. But also, that was a very, very scary moment as well. Because we kept going up the mountain. And the mountain, the way it works is like there's there's roads that kind of zigzag up. The roads that zigzag up the mountain, right? So we're going up. And it takes a while, probably 30 minutes to, uh, to ATV up. We're going pretty fast too. 
and the roads are well groomed so it's not all that bumpy at all but like an old loggy road something like that probably yeah we're going along and we're pretty close to the top and then a section of the road as we're driving along it slides out from under us we get thrown off and it rolls down the mountain the ATV rolls and I think he gets he gets he sticks on it once as it rolls onto him once but he threw me off like he prioritized like chucking me off and he gets like rolled onto it it rolls across his body and he keeps rolling he falls off and he goes down and he's like laying on the side of the mountain on the steep hill it rolls down to the next little like road down below and it turns off and I'm just laying there like not realizing what happened I look and the roads collapsed in a little bit of a part he's laying on his back on the side of the mountain and the ATV is like 50 feet down a hill on the, on the road and so I'm like I walk over to him and he's like I, I look down at him and he's like are you okay and he's like yeah just give me a minute and he's like he's in pain or something but uh he ends up like sliding down the rest of the way sits there for a few minutes kind of gathers himself and uh the the handlebars of the ATV were broke but he like he physically like bent them back into place and it starts up, it starts up just fine and we're able to progress. But for a moment there, like seeing him laying on the ground, I'm like super young. I couldn't like flip over the ATV, which is on its side on the road down below. Like there was no way I could have escaped from that if he wasn't okay. Yeah, and we, we continued up the mountain. We had a little snowball fight top of the mountain, middle of summer, and then drove back down. How do you feel about that good noodle? It looks so good. That's such a good emo. What the heck? Did you draw that? For Ali? More lucky stories? <sighs> huh. Do you have one step hatch cheat on? No, I don't. You did? It's amazing. Have you seen reactions here in the... No damage run? I've seen a few, yeah. But I think most of them. How do you feel about that? Also excellent. Alright, we're almost at 2,000. You have a good sleep, little root. How are you not losing your mind? You guys are here. It's fun. How can I support you without money? Uh, you redeem an ad. Which, by the way, I completely forgot. We have another ad break I gotta redeem. Someone said it before, so I'm gonna do that right now. Some redeem an ad break. You can redeem an ad break. Do we hatch the egg later? No, we're not gonna hatch the egg. Because we can't, it would take far too long. It would take literally the rest of the year streams to get a shiny Tokopi, most likely. Just the way you get it. Ad break, yeah, let's get let's get the uh, the shiny during these next 38 seconds. Let's go. I'm gonna focus on being as fast as I can here. Nope, okay. 22 more seconds, let's go. <laughs> Alright, this might be the last one. Uh, maybe one more, one more. Come on. Missing an ad secret. The ad secret is going to be the, the, th the stuff. Here we go. You saw my pencil shopping video without being subbed to you? Nice. This might be the longest challenge. There's a chance. My right, last one, last one. Here we go, one more. Flame body Flareon? I'd need a shiny Flareon. Ah, no ad secret one. Ten hours in, yep. Ten hours in. Alright, new song, new song. What do we got next? Ooh, I'll pick one for now. Wall of music. There you go. There we go. Okay, Pokemon! Eevee? No, okay. 
But a scary story? I haven't really had many scary things happen to me that was like... Spooky, you know? Like, never haunted. Actually, there was once. There was once, I remember. I was at someone's house for a birthday party. I think it was like my cousin. And I don't know what it was. I still don't know what it was to this day. Pay like 16 months. Can you do Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Kekle on shop theme next? I will if you remind me. Yes. Um, and I remember we were playing um, Hide and Go Seek in the Dark. We had shut off all the lights in the house. We were playing Hide and Go Seek in the Dark trying to to hide in good places and find each other. And I remember I was I was the I was the hider at that time. So I went to go hide and I got into my hiding spot and I was found. Um I think I was like the second to last person found. Not that it's important. Um and I was sitting and waiting for the last person to be found just sitting on the couch in the dark. And then I hear like a rush of air beside my ear, like a like something really fast just went past my ear. Like, what was that? And I look and there's nothing there. So it's a little bit scary. And so I'm like, I sit and wait a little bit again. Wait like a, a minute or two at a time for the day. All right, Grim Reaper, thank you for the support. See you around. I wait for a minute or two in the dark and then I hear it again. Pablo, thanks for the two months. EV is coming up soon. And I'm like, what? Like, what is that sound? And so I go and I like move around. I go into the bathroom, close the door, turn the light on. And I'm kind of just sitting there. Because it's like... It sounds like something is flying past me. In... In... Like inside a house. In a bathroom. And I'm like looking in the mirror. And I hear it again. There's nothing there. And I'm hearing that sound, I'm like, no idea what, and I'm pretty shaken up by this. And so I, I try to go around more people. And so I found like uh, their, my cousin's sibling, they were watching like Van Helsing or something. And I just go and sit in the same room. I don't even watch the movie that they're watching. And um, I just sit in the corner and like look at another person. And I hear that just, it keeps every minute or two, just a, just a sound. And I hear it, and then, then it just stops. After like 10, 15 minutes, it stopped. And eventually I just forgot about it. And I left the room and continued playing with them. But it was just a, a sound that I heard in my ear for like 15 minutes. And I have no idea where it was coming from. No idea what was happening. But it just, it didn't, uh... Don't know what it was. Pipes? I went all around the house. I was like in a bathroom. I was in a living room. I was downstairs. Yeah. A haunted ear. It was probably like some sort of an ear problem. Sorry, that was me. My bad. Oh, thanks. Okay, Shady. Might be tinnitus? No, that's not how tinnitus works. Like, it was very clearly a gust of wind going past one side of my face. A ghost just had gas. Ah. Uh, just got a shiny squirrel. Someone just got a shiny Cyndaquil. All right, here we go. This is the time. This is the shiny right here. Boom. Nope. But if, I could only hear the wind. I couldn't feel it, obviously, because there wasn't any wind there. CEO of reading your chat. You sent that message like a hundred times. No, how many? Maybe not a hundred. I'm curious though. How many times have you sent it? CEO of reading your chat. Let's see how many messages you've sent. CEO of reading chat. CEO of reading his chat. Smile. CEO of reading his chat for his fans. CEO of reading chat. CEO of reading his chat. CEO of reading your chat. CEO foe reading why. CEO of reading your chat. Come on, man. Don't spam messages.
All right, what are we doing next? Lavender Town. All right. The chat CEO of reading. Yup. Oh, right. Kecleon Shop. Right. I forgot. We were doing Kecleon. Kecleon Shop theme. Here we go. W Leon. What else? Is it just me or does this remind you guys of Nintendogs? Okay. Do I. Do you want to know if I almost died once? I feel like there's probably a ton of times I could have almost died, you know? There's a ton of times I may have almost died, but I don't have. I don't know. I can't count you pay. Uh, yeah. All right. Why are you guys saying hi, Ludwig? Is he looking at my stream right now? Or is he just here in chat? Oh, yeah. He was temporarily at the stream. Okay. <laughs> um... No, don't give me a nickname. Pog, I'm famous. Do you still have your appendix? I do not have my appendix, no. But I, I don't think I, like, almost died, you know? I mean, I could say that. What is the most believable conspiracy theory? I don't know. Ever thought about more Pokemon every week? I do more every week. Every Wednesday. Crow is 5-4, I agree. I have proof, but I just can't show you. It's sad that I can't prove it to you that Eric is 5-4. I just can't show you the proof. Because <laughs> it's doxy. What do you think of the recent Nintendo League? So cool. Why not? It has some personal info. All right, next song. Actually, I'm gonna play that one again. That's short. That was short. That was good. You believe me? Thank you. Any times you felt like the stupidest man alive? There's times I felt dumb, but never the stupidest man alive. There's always got to be someone dumber, right? Yeah, the, the reason why I can't show you guys is because uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's Eric standing beside a, um, a measuring tape, but he's completely nude. I, I can't, I couldn't share that with you guys. But there's no way I could show you that. I just, I can't. I don't know where to laugh or cry. I know. Turns out the five and the eight, two separate measurements. Shouldn't have said that one. <laughs> You're confused? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I should not bring up rulers or a measuring tape. Yeah, You're right. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're getting close. Almost at 1900. All right, what's next? What's next? Ooh, don't ever forget. Is this one good? Okay, we'll listen to this one for a bit. Lily Cove. We'll do Lily Cove next. Do -do 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 -do. It's so sad, it's because we haven't got it yet. All right, 1900. Here we go. So sad we haven't got the shiny Eevee yet. <laughs> Yo, Wookie, did I thank you for the 1,500 bits? I don't even know if I thanked you for that. Thank you so much. Kite and Banana Guy, thanks for the primes as well. I appreciate the sports. Thank you for the subs. T-Y-S-M. Yeah, another 100 resets, and then we get a break from this. Yo, Final Fart, thanks for the prime. If you evolve with a stay shiny, yes, it does. <coughs> How much endurance do you think you have? I think a little more than most. 1 in 8,192 chance. That sounds right. That does sound right. <laughs> How many more hours to lose your sanity? Probably like 300. Why didn't you catch Dewey's bu disease, Buizel? It would have... Had a almost 100% chance to lose three hours. Whereas after we beat the gym, we can get a netball and catch it. Almost guaranteed. Nice ender fire. Ah. We have a full six Pokemon team? I doubt it. I don't know if we'll have the patience for that. I don't know. What else do we got? What else do we got for story to tell you guys? I'm curious. Hmm. What else could we talk about? Don't take the break after the 2000. You get a shiny in attempt 2001? Okay. Apparently we get a shiny attempt on 2001. They're from the future. Hey, PSI Switch, what's up? Or PSI Witch, there we go. What if you get the shiny Eevee but accidentally press reset? We cry and then we give up. On the shiny Eevee at least. Story about the chair you're sitting on? I don't have a story about it. It's just a chair. You give 300 subs if I, I said I'd give 100 subs if I reset on a shiny, I guess. Sure. That'll motivate me to not do it. Is there a 500k subscriber special on YouTube? No, not really. Okay. Did you reach 500k on YouTube yet? I don't know, let's see. MA at 500k on YouTube? Are you sure it's not shiny locked? I'm sure it doesn't exist. I am at 499,000 subscribers exactly. Sapsuiter, 11 months. 1,000 more subscribers, and I will reach half a million. KT's been soon thanks for the 10. It's amazing. Hey, let's do this. Found your Pokemon speedruns on YouTube, or found your speedruns on YouTube. Welcome to the stream today. It's shiny on my birth year, you think? 1985? All right. All 
Odds are about 7% right now. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Let's go. Okay. We solved a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Yes. Yeah, trade Pokemon to Shiny Lock, but not these ones. Cool boy, 19 to 5. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate the support. Welcome back. So you're around H4CO. Yeah, the odds for me to get it net by now are about a 7% chance. It's not a 7% chance every time I reset. Alright. Quick play. Thank you for the five gift subs. Welcome to the Ant Colony 5. Thank you, Quick Play Vids. I appreciate that. Alright. Yo! Aaron Xanthar, thanks for the two. Castalia? Alright. Castalia. You think 1969? It's a good year. Shiny only lots of save scum? Yeah, it's not save scumming, it's the way the challenge works. It's soft resetting, not save scumming. Whoops. Ah. Why do I do this to myself? Because chat voted for it. They said they wanted another shiny, they said they wanted an Eevee. I'll do it for you guys. Will I regret it? Perhaps. We'll see. We do drift fell. We did drift fell earlier in the stream, but I could do it again, yeah. as bad as a roaming shiny no one's gonna do a roaming shiny which evolution are you going for chat will vote because ultimately it doesn't matter what it evolves into so i'll let chat vote how many languages do you speak one english how many resets for evie currently uh we are at 1366 once we reached here so we're up to around 600 resets so far almost 600 and we're going to take a break at 600. All right, once we reach 2,000 and one. Wookie, thank you for the support. You see you around, man. You got Totodile in 1,300? Yes, I did. I did, I did. I didn't learn French in school. I did, but I know none of it. You can't teach someone a language if they don't want to learn it. And I had no reason to learn it. Like, if, if, if someone doesn't have a reason... To learn a language, they won't learn the language. Right? Like, I, I went through 12 years of French, and I couldn't speak a sentence in French. I could not tell you a French sentence. What was the reason to learn Japanese? I like how it sounded. That's it. I heard a song once, and I was like, I really like this song. I want to know what they're saying. And so I decided to learn the language. And then I started watching anime. After I heard a single song. You guys want to hear the song that got me into it? You guys want to know the song that, that convinced me to learn Japanese? And I no one tell me what they're actually saying if you know. Because I'm one day I'm going to listen to this song and I'm going to understand it myself. I've never looked up the lyrics. I have, a, I have a rough idea of what they're saying, but not a complete amount. Here's the song that... that uh, that I, I really like. It's my favorite song. It's been my favorite song for a long time.
We can't hear you? I'm not trying to make noise. What's the name? Give me a sec. That's it. So good. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I am not speaking during it. It's just good. Still grind for Eevee? Yeah, we're just listening to my favorite song. They're so good. Why do we not try for 2020 attempts? That's a good point. We could. I broke my own chat rules. Whatever. I'm the one here. Not your type of music? That's fair. We'll change it after this. I just want you guys to hear the whole thing. It's almost over. I just, I really like it. It's just... Yeah, 2020 isn't good, never mind. I'll go to 2019. Is this considered jazz? I think so, maybe. I'm not sure. Tang, thanks for the three. Appreciate it. Come on, I want to get the EV during my favorite song. City Jazz. Jazz Panese. Uh, is that an official name? Amwick, thanks for the three months. What evolution do you want? I want whatever chat wants. That's what I want. Go to the year I was born, 1985. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do a Montoster. I'm crazy. All right, all right. Let's do this one again. That's the song. That's my favorite song. That is the song I like the most. Challenge is a lie? No, it's not. It doesn't lie at all. What do you say is the best evolution? Depends on what you use using it for. Well, this is a bit loud, isn't it? There we go, that's better. Synthesine, please. We'll do that next. I feel like this takes a little bit longer than, um... Than shiny starters. Just because there's... I mean, a third of the chance. So, yeah, I'll stop at 2019 because 2020 is bad. That sounds good. Longing for a team? That's uh, a, a cumulative. Oof, a moment with the five months. Thank you for the support. Big Chungus, Epic Funny Moments 2019, Reddit compilation number 69. Nice. Watch the Pokemon anime? I haven't watched much. Again, this is by Glitch City. What's your party right now? 10 inches. I only have 10 inches. Just reset twice after 2019. Good point. We can do that. I went into thinking this was modded? No. I'm literally soft resetting for every single Pokemon. 
We soft reset for four hours to get a shiny starter. We're resetting to get a shiny Eevee now. It's not modded at all. It's completely legitimate and completely insane. Pally, thanks for the eight months. Thanks, Ant. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. We're getting close. I can feel it. I feel it in my heart. Is it sped up? No, I'm I'm normal speed. I'm going for a party of six. I hope not. I really don't want to have a party of six. But I mean, if we get there, yeah, sure. We're getting close to being free for a bit. Because we are taking a break once we hit 2,000. Maybe we'll do a few extra just for good luck. Is this the max speed you can run at? I think so, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll mess up, mess around with it, see if I can run it at faster speed. Let's see. Um, settings. I think this is the max speed like a computer will run it at. Uh, I don't know where I changed those settings. Hotkey. Increased speed is that. Maybe I can increase the speed? Okay, let's try that. I tried increasing it. We'll see if that helps. Yeah, it doesn't really help. Yeah, this is this is max speed. I just didn't I when I do the setting stuff, it looks like doxable. Some stuff comes up in specific menus. I was only back. I was only gone for a moment. Not a problem. You left? Yeah, I needed to change some. I needed to check to see if I can change the speed up settings, but I cannot. What's likely to have a shiny? One in eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. Do you use flying flask? Yeah. Have you ever experienced enlightenment? What does that mean? Okay. Twitch chat doesn't have object permanence. Uh, permanence, yeah, yeah. Name no. We're getting close. I feel it. I feel it. All right, next song though. <laughs> Another Glitch City Champion Remix. You guys were asking for this. A little quiet. Oh, it gets louder. Okay. This is Glitch City again. Nickname, no. Pokemon. Oh, okay. Alright. Here we go. Let's get it. We almost got it. Yes, we do. It's gonna happen before 2000. Or so the... The... The, the gods have... Said or whatever. Do you like logic? Uh, yeah, I think it makes sense to like logic. I think that's logical. See you around, good noodle. Okay. Ha. Thanks, I got one ha. I'll take that. Uh. Please tell me that wasn't the shiny one, my finger slipped.
First stream, by the way. Nice. It was. Uh-huh, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. Can't believe you found me to the live stream, Chile. Nice. I'm not going to believe you until someone clips it. Good. Your first stream, too, Citrus Guy. Nice. Yeah, it wasn't shiny. Shiny Pokemon are extremely rare. Yes, 1 in 8,000 chance. It's crazy. Yo, Stu Money, thanks for the six. Appreciate it. Okay. Shiny EV any percent run? Could be. Are we going to do another no damage? October, I said I would. In October. Play the Reggie theme? I could do a Reggie theme, yep. Kim, YouTube, glad to catch a stream live. Welcome, Fatal. Or fa Fatalis. What's up? We're just getting it. How many Pokemon do you have now? One. We have a single Pokemon. And we're getting more. Oops, I pressed B. Come on. Hey, Pokemon, we're going for as many as we feel we have the patience for. That's pretty much it. Just as many as we have for patience for. Yo, 1969, here we go. Here we go. Hundred subs if this one's get if this one's shiny. I should have named it nice. Duh. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Fifty subs if this one's shiny. Ah. Twenty-five if this one's shiny. Ah. Come on. Come on. Two. Uh, Thirteen if this one's shiny. The. Ah. Uh, seven. Seven. If this one's shiny. Six or whatever. I don't know. A single tier three sub if this one is shiny. Heck. Getting close. Getting close. How long do you usually stream? Like, um... Five, six hours usually. Right. We're almost done. We're almost at our break point where we take a break. 2,000 resets. Then we'll continue the game with our uh, with our 10 inches. Song, yeah. Good song choice, thank you. Okay, I'm see the EV nickname it. No. Okay. How do you reset so quickly? I've done it a few times, so I know how to do it. All right, is 1985 gonna be the number? Is that gonna be it? Getting close. Honestly, I should just reset four times in a row so we don't even have to look at the Pokemon because we know they're not gonna be shiny within the next four. 
There's no chance. It's gonna be in 1985. How could there be another one before that? The odds are astronomically low. We just know that, that before that, we're not gonna see one. I might as well just reset all the way up. You guys said what? After like 8,000 resets, what are the odds? After 8,000 resets, what are the odds to get a 1 in 8,000 chance? Like, overall. Still 1 in 8,000? No, if I, if I do 8,000 resets, what were the odds that I should have got one? It's not 100%. It's 87%, it's 50% chance, 80%, 63. A 1 in 8,000 chance, and I have done it 8,000 times. 62% chance. About a 63, 62% chance. So why don't I just press the reset button 8,000 times? Uh-huh. I'm kidding, by the way. I, like, I know how that works. I know it's still the same odds, but it was a joke. It was, it was, a, it was supposed to be a joke. First dude we've caught, Ace the Boss, welcome. Continue next Wednesday? Oh, absolutely. We might finish today, though. You know, if we happen to get an EV within the next few minutes, we could finish today. Might not be any reason to. I don't get you are humor. You are so quirky. What? And it's finishing today? Oh, yeah. Oh, you've been watching too much of the get, get late percent editing, haven't you? 100% chance that one's shiny? No, no, no. It's, it's my birthday. I meant this total amount of resets, including the, the total dial, yeah. This is the total resets for the entire challenge. I'm a scientist, and before 2,000 is 0% chance for shiny, trust me. Okay. Alright. Sixty-three percent Yeah, that's what I figured. Do any breeding? I'd have to breed two Pokemon that were already shiny. Now, if that was in Gen 2, that would be worth it, because... We c oh, I should have done this in Gen 2. Because if you breed two shiny Pokemon, the odds of the, the egg being shiny is really high. Or it's way higher. It's like a 1 in 128 or something. Or like 1 in 256. It's actually crazy. Uh, yes. So 1 in 64? Yeah. It's crazy. Should have done this in Gen 2. We could have just... Uh, Gen 2, it's based off of their stats, rather than just random numbers. So, if you get two shiny Pokemon when you breed them, the stats are determined a lot from the parents. And so you have a really high chance of the stats going down from the parents and getting a good egg. But Soul Silver is really nice. They can't breed if they're both shiny? Are you sure? You can't breed two shinies in that gen? Glaceon! Thanks for the two months. Remember when I said you named Glaceon after me? We can't actually get a Glaceon in this challenge. It won't let us. You can't get it in this game. Compact Zub Sub Zero. Thanks for the five. Alright, we're almost at 2,000. <clears throat> if they have the exact same stats are incompatible, yeah. They don't always have the same stats as an option. Okay, Amwick, thanks for the five subs. 
Welcome to the Ant Colony, you five. Thank you, Amwick. I appreciate it. 1996 is my birthday. No, it's not. That's eh, not my birthday. That was the year Pokemon began, too. I was born when Pokemon first started to exist. Alright, here we go. Going up to 2,000 resets. Do the stream, buddy, bud. What's up? No nickname. Come on. Get it before 2,000, please. Come on. Oh, I gotta fix that, don't I? How's that look? That's good. There we go. 2K! Alright. Almost break. Oh, someone said we'll get it on 2001. Someone said we'll get it on 2001, so this should work. Someone said not stop. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> One more for good luck. One more for good luck. One more. They lied. They did. They said they were from the future. Maybe they deliberately put it several off so we couldn't completely believe them, but we'd go- They- they would- they said 2000- here's the thing, here's the thing. They're from the future, but they don't want people to know they're from the future. So they said a number that was above 2000, so I would keep going. That I would get the shiny. What they said would influence the chances and- and guarantee me a shiny. If I keep going a little more. So that way they're wrong. It appears they didn't know what they were talking about. But they were trying to make it so I kept going, so I get the shiny Pokemon in only a few more attempts. They saw all different outcomes and they said what they needed to say for it to happen within the shortest amount of time. And this is the shortest amount of time. Yo, Sammy, thanks for the five. We're gonna stop at like 2020 though. We're not going past 2020. We're gonna go get another gym badge. We haven't made any, we haven't made much progress today. I wanna feel progress. Oops. All right, here we go. Complex, thanks to the five, by the way. Okay. We're so close. We're so close. Hmm. It's basically a podcast with some good music playing. It really is, isn't it? I just want to look, okay. Uh, at least we have one shiny, right? Come on. An interactive podcast. Yeah. These are the old shiny chances. Yeah, one at 8,000. Good old one at 8,000 odds. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. I feel it. I feel it. We're right there. He has a background for most of his stuff. Nice. Should it- Sudowoodo actually would have been faster. I didn't realize you have to check 
every single time in the Pokemon. Sudo Wudo, we probably would have been at like 3,000 resets by now. Alright, we got the Eevee. Ravioli, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. Maybe 2016, that's the year I started streaming. Yeah, like, Pseudo Wudo is just less cool. And we have less options with Pseudo Wudo. And you guys, I, you guys, you guys had a vote. You said you chose Eevee. But yeah, we already took out the Pseudo Wudo. It's done. Getting close. 2016. We didn't poll it. I put it in chat and no one said no. Everyone said yes. No one said no when I said Eevee or Sudowoodo. Everyone said yes. No one said no. I did not see a single no, so it's a clear majority. The reset is for the whole challenge. <sighs> okay. Almost there. You still only have three badges? Right. I still only have three badges. We got one badge today, though, so it wasn't nothing. What? Change music, please? We're going to turn it off in, like, two resets. All right. 2019. We know 2020 isn't going to be a shiny. Because 2020 is just cursed, so might, might, might as well be 2019. Nope. 2021. No reason to. Right, we gotta get past 2020. It, it sucks. There's there's just like 0% chance it's a shiny because it's 2020. 2020 just sucks. It's cursed. It's cursed. Yeah, see? It's cursed. There's no chance. Why, why are we even giving your hopes up? Last one. That's it for now. The stream isn't over though. Because we're going to go get the badge. Uh, config sound settings. Look, we're only two hours into the challenge. Alright, we'll leave Bill for now. We are going to go get the fourth badge as fast as we can. Ah, <sighs> cause we're taking a quick break from that. Are you gonna go back to get Eevee later? Yeah, so we're taking a break, we're gonna get the fourth badge, and then we'll try Eevee again. Just, just a break from the resetting, the mindless resetting, just don't wanna have to sit there forever. Imagine if this is like a shiny wild Pokemon. Like that was a, no, that would hurt. Go, 10 inches. Destroy him. Glad you're taking a break from the grind. Yeah, taking a break. Didn't get it. Okay. What happened to nine inches? He evolved. He pushed it. Do you have Pokeballs? Yes, just in case we get a shiny. Just the bike shop and selling lights. Lots of bikes. I've barely used your bike. That was named nine inches, it evolved. It used to be nine inches, but now it's ten. It went even further beyond. It pushed it. Yo, I'm almost a god at biking. We almost didn't bonk at all. And then I bonked on everything. Why is it called ten inches? Use the nine inches command. Imagine if you found a shiny Abra and teleported. I would cry. I would cry. Alright. They can't as mod only? Oh, never mind. It's mod only. My bad. Alright, we gotta hit the focus center here so we 
he die. Yo! And my mouth, thanks for the prime. And Micah Man, thanks for the prime as well. Appreciate the support. Squirrel of Death, thanks for the 100 bits. Believe in your luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Are you gonna gift the subs now? We'll gift the subs when we get the shiny. That's how it works. When we get the shiny, the subs get gifted. Pretty sure the gym leader isn't in here. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Don't tell him to do commands. Tell him to look for the command in chat. That's a good idea. Yo, what's up? You seen? Yo, dude. What's up, dude? How you? Suicune is here? No, it's not. Suicune, it's Suicune isn't here, that's ridiculous. What would make you think there's a Suicune here, you see? Uh, that's, that's absurd. <laughs> what the heck? There's no way. Did we catch any Legend Day? Maybe one day. Taking a quick break from the EV. How many more till 500k subs? All right, I will tell you guys how many more until we get 500k subs on YouTube. Eight hundred and seventy-nine people need to subscribe to my YouTube, and I will be at half a million subscribers. Oh crap! It's the the boy. It's the boy. <laughs> Why did we name him the boy again? I can't remember, but it's the boy. It's been it's been 11 hours. I can't remember. The man. All oh, right, his name was Passerby Boy when you first encountered him instead of question marks. I remember now. So we call him the boy instead of the man. Bayleaf? Ah, <laughs> yours isn't even shiny. Get out of here. Ooh. Emperor Chicken, thanks for stuff. Yeah, easy win. Easy win. A Magnemite? How am I gonna deal with a Magnemite? They haven't fixed Crunch yet, I don't think, in Gen 4. Or they haven't fixed Dark and Steel types. Like, I'm pretty sure it's still not very effective, so just water. And it's almost a one-hit KO. Thunder Wave will take him out. One more hit. Good. If you're taking Cyndaquil with a rival's Totodalb and Shiny, I don't believe it would have. No. Ten inches use Water Gun, and we're crushing it. All right. Oh, there's another one? Oh, what the heck. It's gonna supersonic me too. What the freak? Did you always have this much patience? I think so. But it missed. And I missed. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, it hits. Well, that means I'll hit this time, right? Ugh. Through the parafusion, we strike. Told you. Our defeated rival, the boy. 1408, excellent. Never be able to catch a legendary anyways. Yeah, I can. I got a sparkly little for alligator here. What? Who says I can't? I think I'm just gonna use a paralyzed heal. I probably have one, right? Right? Yeah, okay. Find k yet? Nope. Be there by the end of the day. Before I go to bed, I'll be at 500k. Yo, I- you seen? I found it! You seen? You- you see- uh, he missed it. Did you see it? Uh, yeah, I was screaming for you the whole time. Looked like a blur. It really wasn't that fast. It's not- you just had to- had to look into the hole, man. Are you hunting full odds? Yeah, it's full odds. Bitch, watching my YouTube videos, Parker Bando. What's up? Welcome.
Yeah, no items in battle. I can use items, just not in battle. No items in battle. Just to make it slightly more interesting, what's full odds? You can increase the odds by doing like certain like Masuda method where you have a, a foreign Pokemon. Or if you have a shiny charm, like you've caught all of the Pokemon in the game. Or if you increase the odds like by cheating. Um, but this is full odds, 1 in 8,192 chance. So yeah, we've gotten one full odds shiny so far, that's 10 inches. And uh, we re just reset for a few hours trying to get an Eevee. Didn't get it yet, but we're taking a break. Taking a, a quick break in the uh, just by getting another badge. Real quick here. What story the 10 inches name? Look for it in chat and you'll see. So some tells me this gym is not working properly if I had to guess, but that's okay. Great thing about this gym is that I have crunch. And so this gym is gonna be very easy. This gym's gonna be super easy. That yeah, that lighting is a bit wacky. You didn't get the Eevee? Not yet. We're just taking a break because it's exhausting trying to get an Eevee for that long. We we literally sat there for four and a half hours. Just resetting away. We'll get it. But we, we did our best to get a shiny today. Ten inches, a hundred percent HP though. Can you evolve into an Umbreon? Yeah. It's currently 6.19 p.m. in the game, just like real time. I bet I could just Ice Fang these to death, too. Ooh, yep. So easy, easy fights. So you only have one Pokemon? Only one, yep. Okay. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. You will. Wait, can't you evolve 10 inches? I did. You evolved from 9 inches into 10. Oh. Huh. Depth perception. Only ever beaten shield. This week you're gonna get X. Nice. X is better. X is one of my favorites. A lot of people didn't like Pokemon X, but I think Pokemon X was still real good. Your Hall of Fame is going to be the biggest flex by the end of this? Oh, yeah. Wait, what's the gym layout? In the remakes, it's slightly different. Not Y. I had Y, actually, when I played it. 10 inches leveled up again. Let's go. Medium grace. Why can't I have a large grace? What the heck? Okay. Alright. 10 inches still sweeping through. Not a problem. Just... Boop, boop. Sucker punched me. Yikes. Ice Fang should be a one hit KO because their defense is they're paper thin. Paper thin. Easy. What's the point of going Oh I was like, what's the point of going around the long way? I guess you have to go around the long way. V Chen, thanks for the two months. How many shinies do you expect by the end of the run? Minimum three. Absolute minimum is three. We'll see. It depends on what you guys vote for, though. It depends. Okay. 
Yeah, we're, we'll take it. We're just this this gym is essentially just a break from Eevee. It's really all it is. Three knock on the Gyarados? No, counting the Gyarados. Don't put words into my mouth. What are you talking about? The cartoon buffoon, thanks to the five months. Woo! Thank you so much. Won't use an HM user? 10 inches is our HM user. It can learn all the HMs you need to beat the game. Technically, we don't need to catch another Pokemon to win, but I feel like it kind of... It'd be cool to get as many as we can. All right, we're fighting Morty, by the way. So let's do it. Even fly? You don't need fly to beat the game. You don't need it. So yeah, so we're fighting the gym leader and all we, like, literally all I am going to do is just crunch. Gonna crunch away. Oh no, Gengar level 25. I hit it with that 10 inches. Super effective. Whew. Good stuff. 33, another one haunter. It's gonna be haunted by my 10 inches. There's another one. I see Crimson. Thanks. Haunter going down. And... Another Haunter. Super effective. Easy! You expected this a hacked game and everything is shiny? No. Not at all. Not, not at all. No. <laughs> we got the fog badge. That's it. There we go. We have this too. TM30. Excellent. All right. Does luck quicker than the previous gym? It was. Let's save the game. Let's make sure we have a save here. Save the game. Yes. Already a save file. Yes. How many tries to take for the EV? I don't know. We don't got it yet. Okay. to Eevee? We have four badges. I... I think... I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm actually pretty tired. It's, it's tough to, to stay energetic during all of this shiny hunting. Trying to make shiny hunting entertaining. I think we're gonna continue this next week. We'll get the shiny Eevee next week. We'll probably get the shiny Gyarados as well and a bunch of badges. We had enough resets today. I think that was a good stream. A very good stream. Didn't get the Eevee yet, but we got two badges today. Not bad. You know, shiny only challenge, that's pretty good. We're gonna find someone to raid. Who might we be raiding though? And I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow on the schedule, I can't remember. What is on the schedule for tomorrow? Tomorrow I think is Breath of the Wild. Oh, what are we doing? What did I put on? I can't remember what I put on the schedule at all. Um, where is the schedule? Oh, we're doing get laid percent tomorrow. We're getting laid tomorrow. So if you guys want to see me get laid in Breath of the Wild, it's great. We give subs and we get the shiny. We are going to raid somebody. Who are we raiding today? Who is in the ant colony that's streaming right now? Let's check. Let's check. Ant Colony. Is, it, is CJ? What's he doing today? What's he doing? Yeah, whatever. We'll raid CJ. R-A-I-D. C-J-Y-A. 
All right, we're going to raid CJ. Hopefully, you guys like CJ's stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. It was an incredible stream today. It was so good. Um, yeah, we'll settle. I just wanted to see if there's anybody new, because we raid CJ a lot. We raid a lot of people a lot. Just want to spread it around a bit more. But thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, be sure to follow the stream if you haven't already. Uh, check me out on YouTube if you haven't already there. And uh, I guess there's Twitter and the Discord if you're into that as well. But uh, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.